evening everybody how are we welcome along um happy fm 22 dear guys hope everyone's nice and well um who had okay own up who had today as the day that the beta was going to drop hands up not me not me <laughs> i didn't have i didn't have that day today um let me let me find out first of all am i in sync right am i in sync that's the question is the camera in sync is the audio in sync excellent we're good right welcome in welcome in everybody uh welcome to fm22 beta first look um i'm quite surprised i'm genuinely surprised genuinely surprised i didn't expect it today at all i thought it was i genuinely thought next thursday was gonna be the day uh, i thought we could maybe get posh finished um we will get posh finished by the way we will we'll finish posh um next week we'll definitely get that done because we can't just leave it as it is like we've got to finish the uh got to finish it off um properly how out of sync are we yonaman let me know if it is uh out of sync because obviously we're just trying to jump in straight away and hopefully uh the camera's a little bit delayed right okay let's try and fix this live as we go um because obviously i'm worried that this is going to really knacker everything up right okay let's try it let's try it Right, what about now? Is that back in or am I further, am I ahead or behind? This is, this is where, this is literally like, we've had to jump on straight away. <laughs> like we've not had time to sync anything up or whatever. So, oh shit. Um, right, audio's behind or camera's behind? And by how much? Hugely or not hugely? This is not this is not the most sort of professional way to start it, but never mind. We're trying to get up and running as we go. Um, camera became a bit worse, right? Okay, that's fine. Let's have a little look uh, and see where we are. Camera is behind. Do you want me to look at the live stick figure drawings for you? Yes, please. That'd be great. Um, right, so I'll take that off there. Right. Okay. Right. So in terms of this, so one, two, three, four five how how whereabouts are we tech <laughs> tech is even worse okay good that's fine that's me that's me literally resetting resetting okay so uh, let's go back to maybe uh 200 right better better or worse better or worse i feel like i feel like it's an eye test at this point uh evening timmy g how are you welcome in uh somehow we'll hear the signal and come and save us jebaru come and save us um are we better or worse worse again okay that's fine let's move it to uh maybe 800 right okay this is gonna be oh god this is gonna be terrible in it right any better are we picking up at any point this is really quite quite troublesome now isn't it um perfect oh is that perfect are we on right can someone else other than yonaman confirm that we are we're pretty much synced yes red light green light bang on now yes right arms in the air but you know what this is this is what we deserve now look see there we go this is what we're talking about right we're in we are in welcome welcome properly well, right there we go now now we get the arms in the air right okay now we can start welcome happy fm 22 day everybody it's the beta launch uh we're all here we're all very 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 excited because um we're gonna go we're gonna go for it now right so here we go um posh will finish um during the week okay posh will finish during the week okay um we're gonna we need to get it done we can't just leave that's that's just not how it is like we need to to get it finished so we will jump on and uh, we're gonna start our first save which as you can see is Sampdoria which therefore means we have to do one thing and one thing only and that is this we need to pay homage to the one and only Cagliarella boom boom so this is the first thing we're gonna start playing right as we as we get going right just uh turn that down a smidge 
And you know what? I've just had Mrs. J shout through going, you've lost, you've lost some people, but you know what? Who cares? There you go. Start Cagliarella every single game. That could be our, our new stipulation, just just for ourselves, couldn't it? Um, so yeah, this is it. This is this is where we are. Um, we're going to play as Sampdoria, Serie A. No stipulations in the um, in the uh, in the challenge. It's just literally a straight shootout. Um, Serie A upwards loaded. Um, no other leagues. Just get ourselves in, play total football. A few things we're going to talk about, obviously, formations wise. I'm guessing, right? I'm guessing there's going to be a few things people are going to want to see. Um, Rogi, absolutely, yeah. There is a command in there which I need to make for everybody. So bear with me two seconds. There's a new command for um, it's a, a exclamation mark and no, which is no, we will not be looking at how much money Newcastle have in this save uh, because we don't agree with them okay so everybody can do that that is just a little exclamation mark no um, that's for everyone right no one needs to check okay it's fine just leave it as it is yeah Cruyff 343 diamond Ooh, I'm liking the sound of that Yonaman I'm presuming quite a few people are going to be um, going to be looking at, at Three centre backs, maybe wide centre backs, overlapping centre backs. Are we looking at data hubs? I think there's going to be a few things we need to see, aren't we? So I'm looking forward to it. I'm very, very excited to be honest, and I hope you guys are as well. So here is here. So we'll finish this song. Obviously, we'll, we'll play out homage to to Cagliarella. Then then we get going properly. Three, three, four. Might as well go for it. I mean, yeah, it's literally a one-season shootout, you know what I mean? So, if we do well, fantastic. If we don't, not a problem, you know? We can just go and do our thing. So, who's got it then? Who's, who's already downloaded it? And if you have downloaded it, I hope you've got it on another screen. Right. So, here we go. This is it. Okay. Sampdoria will ring in their 75th season under new manager Tony Jameson. Eyebrows have been raised. Of course, eyebrows have been raised. My, you'd think my uh, my reputation would speak for itself, which I think, in a sense, it, it probably does, to be honest, and that's why eyebrows have been raised. Um, but pretty sure we're ready to face questions from the media at the Luigi Ferraris. Let's have a little click on there, shall we? This is us. Right. We're into the game. Outstanding. I felt like I had to shout a little bit over that. I was like, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? This feels really loud. <laughs> but we're done now. We're done. Right. We are back in. Okay. So Cagliarella's had his moment. Cagliarella's going to have many, many moments, to be honest. And the beard looks pixelated. I mean, that's that's my beard. That's my beard. Like, that's how it is. Um, Appreciate the uh, the resub, by the way. Uh, who's that? That's um, Friendly Ghost resub. So appreciate that. Five months. Five months in. Rogi got eight months, I think, at the start of the stream. So uh, huge love for that, by the way. Uh, already hated the nation for saying that Shablot is shit. <laughs> Not you with the in-game manager. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of the beard creations aren't brilliant, to be honest. But you know what? We've got ourselves. We've got, we've got some more. It's better than just the little tiny patchy bit that they give you. Um, but there, uh, this is us then. So, uh, three and a half star rep at the start. Um, expected to finish tenth. So, for me, that's huge achievement. Huge achievement, right? Here's the question as well. Okay, I'm possibly the only person who always pre-orders but rarely plays the beta. Feel like I can't get into it. I did Dortmund last year as the beta, and I get that. I got into it, and I was just like, oh, I don't really. I knew I wasn't completing the save. I wasn't going anywhere with it. So I was like, right. Maybe just time to like sort of jump out. But this one, I think I've got a certain, I've got a specific plan with it. So this is fine. Get in, do what I need to do, then get out and uh, and go straight on to, uh, to something else. BV beat the Dortmund. That's why you're one of the mods, Rogi. Brilliant, brilliant work. Um, right, quick question. Okay. Um, your man here on the, uh, 
on the on the badge, right on the badge, okay up there. Um, is it just me, or does it bear a striking resemblance to the fella from Gorillas? Is it just me? Once you see it, you can't unsee it. I think. Um, so there, that's me. Um, transfer budget seven, just about seven and a half million quid, which might be okay. Might not be okay. We might really struggle. Who knows? Uh, wage budget six hundred eight thousand uh, pounds. Financial status is secure. The Luigi Ferrari, obviously, we love that. We love the state. We love the stadium. You know, it's a beautiful stadium. Proper old school stadium. Uh, classic four corners. Looks very British. Um, we will not be playing four two three one. Let's be honest. We are not playing four two three one at all. Announced Providence. <laughs> oh, JJ for signing. <laughs> I mean, look, there's so many things. There's so many things we could do. We could get RJJ and Louis Barry, get the band back together, get Bobby Coppin uh, in the staff. Seems to be something we can't get. We get him on. You can't get Mickey on this database. Not on this one, not on this one, but on the full database, you'll get him friendly, don't worry. Um, so, players that we've got. So, Damsgaard, we're looking forward to having. Kandreva, uh, Hit Hitarin, uh, Caputo, Torsby, Adrian, Aguello, Coley, Yoshida. Uh, Berezinski and uh, Uedo, they're expecting to be the, uh, the, 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 the top guys. Um, but I'm sure we'll be able to find a few. Um, I'm sure we'll be able to find a few as we go through. Um, playing style, play, uh, entertaining football. We shall see about that. Uh, sign players from lower levels for the domestic game. Totally can do that. Uh, Tony Aladice is absolutely in for here. Um, Hatred, the wonder kid that plays shit from what I've heard. Oh dear. Or you've got players that, are, that people are hating. That's not going to be good. Um, break even the transfer market we can do. Work with the wage budget we can do. Mid-table Serie A. Italian third round. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's get into it. This is new. During our first few days on the job, you'll receive a series of email inductions to explain certain aspects of your job. They'll also give you the chance to decide if you'd like to delegate certain duties to the backroom team. Now, there's a lot of these screens we're probably going to learn for the first time. So some of the stream might slow down a bit while we go, right, what the hell's going on here? So um, evening, Gabe. How are you, buddy? Welcome in, sir. Um, any new gestures? Uh, that. Um, that. Uh, that. Um, that. Um, oh, you mean like on, on here, obviously. <laughs> don't know we'll find out we'll find out in a second um so let's see sorry let me just check this mrs j has fired me a message right here we go here we go let's all go how are we we're all very very well very well gib welcome in by the way uh hope you're well do follow gib by the way on youtube he's going to be knocking out a whole load of content this year uh so we're very very excited about that um so scouting introduction scheduled for two days time let's get in two days time uh transfer in induction complete let's do that today training induction tomorrow um tactics induction today squad dynamics today data hub scheduled when required medical center for eight days time squad induction today i guess backroom staff today development center for six days time so it looks like you can you can tweak these a little bit to be honest so um there'll be quite a bit of them that we don't want to see i'm guessing um but then there'll be some that you're kind of like desperate to see so i guess you can sort of schedule them around so that's gonna be quite quite good <coughs> excuse me candreva quite important to the pentagon save when i was in china hopefully he does bits for sam dora i love candreva to be honest i feel i genuinely think he's fantastic um so hopefully he's gonna be a big part of our save uh, trying to pretend to be in charge at work just beat my under 20s didn't do a jameson let's take that off there then so we don't want to be and <laughs> we don't want to be um having a a friend against our under 20s let's take that away before we before we get beat shall we um, and then have a meeting with the backroom staff every week let's do it let's do it right save sampdoria let's go right uh, this is us this is us obviously the uh the standard skin okay we haven't got a new skin yet there are however uh, i've put in the discord okay a uh, little link for the discord as always the um the uh, custom views that i use 
um, which are made by Friday Night FM from the Five Star Pod Potential Podcast. I've put a link in there in the Discord for the squad views. Now I'll download them, put them into my um, into my uh, thing as well, by the way. And then um, once we decide the new skin and stuff, we'll we'll get all that sort of done properly. So um, so yeah, so the skin might change by the time we get to the main save, but for now looks fine uh, i think the way we've got the layout at the top seems to hang quite nicely with a uh, lined up so lovely lovely uh on my game welcome in hope you're very well welcome and appreciate the follow so there we go in 75 75 years of sampdoria and this is how we do it so uh non-eu transfer allowance for the season based on the league rules we're all allowed to register the first two non-eu players we signed this season okay any further signs will not be allowed to take part in official matches until the following campaign at the earliest. One of the non-EU players signed will only be eligible for the non-EU slot if he's played at least five matches for his national team in his career, including the 21s, if he's under 21, or has been called up at least twice during last season. Right, that's fine. Okay. Um, players in last year of contract. Cagliarella. That's interesting. Helps us fulfill squad registration rules. Didn't mean that. That's. I think that's a new, a new thing from a uh, that wasn't in there last year. So recently signed, lacking potential. Um, okay. Like I say, we'll probably click on most of the uh, on most of the screens to be honest, um, just to see what's going on because obviously we're not entirely sure. We are thirty-eight years old. Thirty-eight years old. He needs another contract, don't he? He needs another one. Get him straight in. Right. Use up the wage budget already on, on Caglarella's uh, renewal. Uh, which, to be honest, we can probably withdraw, really. We can, we can do that later on. Um, that's fine. Right. Tactics. Skin does look nice, to be honest. Let's have a quick look at the squad and then see how it looks. So that's our that's our new layout. Okay. This is Shabot that we're talking about. Um, okay. A couple of things I will remember to change before we actually go. So... Uh, centimeters and kg so let's quickly change that for preferences otherwise i'll get myself confused um do, 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 do. oh advanced formats kilos stones yards miles feet it's cool Click back off, click back on, then we'll get the right thing, shall we? There we go. Six foot five. Yes. Six foot five centre half. We could get we could do with him for posh to be honest. Um Depoe Depioli. Nice. Looks pretty decent. What about Salamatana Udinese? Damage guard. 36 million quid. Oh. Little David's eyes are lighting up there. He can defend the back post. Damn right he can. Six foot five. Outstanding. Here we are then. Ihatarin. Ihatarin. Uh, on loan from, from Zebra. Of course, that famous Italian club that um, everyone knows. Uh, okay. Where's the main man? Where's the main man? There he is. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, you beautiful 38-year-old magician, you. Just, he's got everything. He's got everything, but at the same time, he has nothing. It's um, it's, it's a wonderful world to see. Um, 19 finishing, I know, I know. Just If we can get the ball to him, he'll be brilliant, but it's going to be a bit of a question as to what happens before then. Uh, great poacher, absolutely. Uh, Ronaldo Vieira, he's the guy who used to play for Leeds, isn't he? Yeah. Okay, Ronaldo Vieira's in there. Uh, Berezutsky, Berezinski, sorry. Berezinski looks pretty decent. Six foot as well. Uh, Onesto Torregrossa, or as I like to call him, the Ernie the Big Tower. Ernie Big Tower, where is he? Where's Big Ern? There he is. Oh, he's only six foot. He's, he's a midget in this, in this team. Excuse me. Um... He's decent though, 14 for finishing. 
And that, that's the level of the players that I usually pick where I'm looking, oh, 14. Oh, that's that's brilliant. He'll, he'll be a first teamer. Uh, Gabbiadini, um, obviously former Southampton, out for two months already. Six foot as a midget now. <laughs> well, we've got, we've got a player who's got two six foot five, so I mean, actually, here's, here's, a que here's a question before we even get started. All right. Where is he? Where is he? Where's the big lad? Oh, he's not in. He's not in. Oh. Check Messi. No. No, no. We, we don't need to, to check Messi and Ronaldo and Neymar and that. We'll just... We'll we'll, we'll do we'll do Sam Dory tonight. We'll have a bit mess about with, with like some of the other bits and pieces um, later on. Because it'll just look... It'll just look weird. It'll just look weird. In fact, you know, you know, you know what you're about to tell, right? You know what you're on no, you, you've been nice. You've been nice uh, over the past few streams. So, right there, you go. There you go. That's that's what he looks like. It looks strange. It looks strange to see. I don't like it. It feels feels wrong. It feels weird. Um, try weird tactics. You better believe I'm going to try weird tactics. You better believe that. Uh, look at Roberto Inglese. From Palmer, um, not really much going on there, Rogan. Work rate's very good, but I mean finishing could be could be good. Eleven to seventeen. Is he one of your men? Is he nice? Where's uh, where's Ruben? Where's where's big where's big Rube? There he is. Three star, three star. Apparently, I think we should keep him as a bit of a, a bit of a little surprise for later. Um, good old Bobby English. <laughs> uh, right, let's let's have a look at tactics, shall we? Let's get one done, shall we? Right, create a tactic. Out to you guys, out to you guys. How are we going to do this? How do you want us to play? We can do this all together, I think. Custom slate create our own style three at the back or two 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 I think we should I think we should make three formations all right let's make three right three tactics okay um we'll do a three at the back four at the back and a five oh yeah something weird something weird Right, let's start with a three, okay? So we start with a three, three, four, three, which I suppose is kind of what people are, are, are hoping for. Um, so three, four, three, then something that makes no sense, basically just anything I come up with, to be honest. So this is what we've got. Are we looking at how we're going to play first? Nothing's changed there. Defensive, very defensive, cautious, balanced. Let's go for balance first of all, I think. Uh, in possession, nothing changes here really. Everything stays the same. Okay, even a beard of twig. How are you? Welcome in. I mean, right. So goalkeeper on defend or sweeper keeper on attack. <laughs> right. What the hell does sweeper keeper on attack do? Oh, that's like um, essentially Edison. Like. Fucking hell. Right, okay. Yeah, when he's on attack duty, the sweeper hit will travel some distance outside his area and be happy to move out with the ball at his feet. Oh. Oh. Did not expect that. Did not expect that. Um, is, is that. Is that in the game normally, is it? Sweeper keeper on attack? Because I feel as though that's like... That, for me, seems to be new. Um... <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was always there. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. I just, just didn't look then. Um, okay, so central defender, libero, ball playing defender, no nonsense centre back. Are we going with it? We might as well, might we? Wide centre backs. Let's have a look. Cross from deep, hold position, stay wider. That's when they're on defend. When they're on support, they just stay wider. And when they're on attack, cross more often. Cross from the byline, dribble more, stay wider. We're going everyone on attack. 
Right, so we need another wide centre back here then. And we need another barrel. Okay. Uh, I think here we need just, just a wide midfielder. Um, a wide midfielder on support. A wide midfielder on support. A box to box or a ball winner, maybe. Mazala, possibly. But this is the reason that I lose games because I'm sort of like, oh, this could work, this could work, this could work. Now they're going to get into there, aren't they? Right. So he's going to go in there as well. So that's going to going to cause a bit of an issue. Um, so possibly Mazala needs to go to box to box so they don't get in each other's way. So they're going to go there, 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 like that. See him and defend. DLF, AF, DLF. What do we think? Trex and Mazzala, so the Italians. Yeah. Let's go with a porcher, and that's going to be Cags. So let's put him in there already. All right, Cags is the porcher. Two Trex. Um, I mean, it would double Mazzala in the middle. It's literally just like throw everyone through, <laughs> throw everyone through. Or a Mez and a Carrillo. Possibly. Even Jebaru, how are you? How are you? Welcome in. Oh, everything's well. We've got ourselves all set up now. We're back in sync. So that's that's quite nice. Um, This is starting to look a bit, a bit, I can already sense that we're going to lose. I can already sense we're going to lose. Um, any other Italian roles that should be in there? Um, so it's a Carriero as an Italian role, possibly. Um, look how far we've come. I know it's all it's all down to you, mate. It's all down to you. you you've helped you've helped make this, you know. So, right, let's quickly have a look at what this might look like. Uh, Omar Coley, uh, thirteen for acceleration. Yoshida, 12 for acceleration. Shabo is going to have to be the uh, the libero, isn't he? Just because he's the biggest. Um, right, there we go. This looks ridiculous. This is this is perfectly ridiculous. Perfectly ridiculous. Uh, so Kandreva on one side. Um... Aguello, Andre Silva, Ronaldo Vieira will put in as well. I'm not Damsgaard. Damsgaard can go. Um, Ekdal. Yeah, Christopher Anderson can go in there. And then up top, here's where we have our fun. <clears throat> right does that look does that look silly enough for everyone are we happy with that as a possible first one uh, so we want to play wide I'm guessing my reign starts with a goal after five minutes nice friendly nice um, I think we look for underlaps don't we hit the ball early which is going to kind of counteract that I guess so we hit the ball early no, work the ball in the box. Underlaps. Um, standard, because they're going to play wide anyway. Counter press. We haven't got any full backs to, dis to dispense the ball to, so dispense the ball to the centre backs. Um, roll it out. Distribute quickly. Yeah, I think that's probably it, isn't it? That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. So that's let's uh, so let's say that's our first formation there. Okay. Next formation. Uh Rogi wanted a four two 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 two. Um Rogi, how do you want it to set up? Is it a is it a, um have you got a specific type of play in mind or 
We're just chucking everything at it. <laughs> Being serious. <laughs> um, right, let's go with something. A fluid counterattack, maybe? Actually, we need to do cat and actual, don't we? We've got to do a proper five at the back. Cat and actual. Um, and again, just keep it standard. So nothing too, too out there for that one. Um, so I'll just keep that as a, as a kind of like sort of catch all. Um, that's quite nice to be honest. Little sort of graphic there. That. And now let's do something daft. So I think maybe a, a, a vertical tick attacker. Talking blue cherry at the ball. Yeah, exactly. Um, and let's go with three three one four two, but let's change that ever so slightly. Note at the back. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. How about we go for a two at the back? I'm thinking two at the back. Um. Right, let's right, let's let's put it on, okay? Let's try that. So, my thinking being, right, something quite similar to what we um, <laughs> Ben Woodburn as Masala. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Even Sai Maggio, how are you, buddy? Welcome in. Um, hope you're well. Um, I want to get something like um, where's Big Big Sai? Give Sai a shout, out, everybody. Give him a follow on there as well um you know it makes sense you know it makes sense right let's do something like like what we did with breaking right so inverted wing back here on support so he'll cut into this bit okay this guy becomes um so we have a segundo volante okay on attack we'll have a regista because that's that's italian Okay, Quags has got his first goal. Yes. Um, I think we play something like this. Let's completely just fuck it up, shall we? Um... Yeah, let's do that. Right. And that could be our crazy formation. Okay. He can be set full back to defend. Inverted wing inverted wing back on, on support. Drops in there where the Segundo Volante goes. Segundo Volante goes here and here and here. Inside forward goes there. Traquist Traquatista will go around here. Inverted winger will come across. DLF will drop into these bases. He'll just go wherever he needs to go. Now that's what I think. That's what I think. Right? That's what I think. I'm probably wrong, but that's what I think. I accept current vision. So 34 minutes into this save and Tony's already lost his mind. Mate, I had to spend the first five minutes trying to get my bloody microphone back in sync because it had already put itself out. That's an abomination. I would expect nothing less. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is exactly what needs to happen. Um, right, let's let's introduce... Oh, we don't need the... Uh, we just need to say hello, don't we? So let's... Uh, do we do a team meeting or just say hello? Squad induction, there we go. Oh, we know this. We know this. We know that. We know this as well. Sampdoria indeed. How are we doing, Raul? Here he comes. Here he comes. He's got himself in. We've already bought. Um, we, we've done. We bought Malcolm Christie. Um, can't remember him. We're gonna remember him, but we bought him for eighty-two million quid. Um, right. FM twenty-two. We, we, we've made a crazy tackle. That's all we've done so far. So let's 
move the screen around so you can see this. Um, actually, it's not really much better, is it, to be honest? I'll do a new screen so you can get rid of my face. Um, actually, there you go. How about that? Right, you can see there. Okay. This appears to be the new the new setup screen. So, quite liking this. Um, play trait alterations. Uh, Delapio's game would improve if he stopped trying to move the ball with his right foot before attempting to dribble. His left foot is better than he gives credit for. Uh, Askadelson's game would improve if he were encouraged to get forward wherever possible. Um, much better, bye bye face. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> Uh, start training on specific traits quite like that coaching recruitment development staffing okay nice week of foot training Herolek. yeah okay I'm coming back on I feel weird sort of being sat out there um, uh, he wants a new contract. He wants a new contract. We'll do those later. Schedule after meeting. Schedule after meeting. Look towards the youth system for players. Okay, let's have a little look on the uh, on on the old youth system, shall we? Open a pack of stickers to celebrate. You know what, Raul? You can have your stickers. You can have your stickers. There's your there's your Euro stickers. Hopefully, hopefully we get some Italians in here. If we get if we get an Italian shiny, then I'll be really really happy. The beater has indeed landed. Northern Pilgrim. Posh is back next week. All right. Um, we've gone we've gone calcio. How many stickers have I got? More than you've got points for, Raul. Look at that. Vote on the pole. Face on up. Harry Kane and Marcus Rashford. Uh, Kingsley Coleman and the beautiful, beautiful Olivier Giroud. Uh, Karayev. Who's on there? Uh, Michi Batuai. And Ryan Christie. So, pretty decent. Make it another one. You can have another pack there. Go on, why not? We'll have another pack. Pack number two. What have we got? What have we got? One another day, I'll empty that pack box. That's what she said. Right. Nestrovitsky. Boo. <laughs> uh, Hancho. Thibaut Courtois. And that guy who I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce because he's got all the letters in the world in his name. Um, so transfer policy. Look at the youth the youth system. Absolutely, will do that. That's a good idea. Um, what to do? Skip to development. Uh, remind me in a week. Yep. Andreas Silva should be placed on the transfer list. Really? Seems a shame, but he's wanted, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, I'm increasing the opinion that Ronaldo Vieira has potentially become a key player for the club. Excellent. Slightly surprising, the, surpassing the ability of our best centre midfielder. Uh, Mehdi Leris has the potential to become a quality player. And Ask Dylan. Lovely face. Lovely face. There you go. That's what we want. Lovely face. Uh, move on. Uh, yeah, good. Some nice. Recommendations for staff. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We'll come back and get these booked in. Oh, that's quite nice. And a bit of a summary screen as well. So, so that's pretty decent, actually. I quite like that. Right. End meeting. Then there's a little preferences bit at the bottom as well. So, again, you can change it uh, from every week fortnight every month or never so you can actually turn that off okay so if you just take that out of the way there down here you can actually turn turn that off so that can go to never if you want 
Yeah, well, that's interesting. I'll keep it on. I'll keep it on. Follow up actions as well. Okay. Uh, approach to sign. Oh, just. Yeah, no, we, we understand this. We'll do it later. We'll do it later. We don't need to do it today. I kind of feel like, even though it's the beta, and even though we're all just like, this save doesn't really matter, I'm like, still, we should really power through it, but I'm like, no, no, we should actually sit and do it properly. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's meet the players. Let's have a little chat, shall we? Come and say hello. Hello, everybody. Um, I would like to sign Ben Woodburn. No one's interested. No one cares. Um, first game ended up being a 5-1 win. Nice. Let's finish mid-table, shall we? They're happy with that. Good. Very happy. Um, what I've done is, well, I've, I've, given, I've made myself a motivator because I figured that's probably where my skill set lies rather than tactician. Um, so... So yeah, I figured if we can just try and convince them that they're, that they're better players than they are, that'll be good. Um, and then training we need to try and do as well. Okay, let's meet the media. Let's meet the media, see what they say. Um, what does this mean to be given this opportunity? I can't hide my excitement. I'm eager, eager to get started. Uh, do you have the wage budget to bring in the players that you need? It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Uh, what I'll try to do Sampdoria. Everyone knows the potential we have. But any reservations about taking the job? No. Can't speak Italian. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Right. Be fine. Don't worry. Believe. Believe. Remember. Believe. Is he being negative already? Is he being negative? I'll motivate, I'll motivate you to not be negative. We'll, we'll put you, we'll time you out again. We'll put you in timeout. You know, I have to do that to uh, I have to do that to the kids. Italian hand gestures. Oh, why, 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 uh, The fans will play a massive part. We're gonna aim high. Uh, I expect the players to work hard. How valuable is the start? Emil Aduero. Very, very good. Cagliarella will, of course, be captain. Where could the score be improved? Uh, don't know. Defence, possibly? Defence, because we're going to have to play three wide centre-backs. I don't know if we've actually got three wide centre-backs. So that's where we are. Um, quick thing, attribute masking, yes or no? <sighs> Do his one. Do his one. Like, I play with attribute masking on because uh, I'm not a pussy. That's why. Um, but it's up to you guys. If you want, if you want stabilizers on, put stabilizers on. It's fine. It's only a two-week challenge. This one, so it's going on. Exactly, exactly. It's going on. Uh, yeah, fine. Go on. You can go, young lad. Presumably, is four, 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 two, three, and Gegen Preston still a thing? Yep, yeah, still a thing. Still a thing. Um, I don't know whether it's do what you want. Going to play this challenge on CMO. <laughs> yeah. What, what I've decided to do is I've decided to play as, as Newcastle and Man City. Um, so it's going to be a great challenge for me. Um, you know. went to the libero that was that guy on it and then he went there he went there he went there can't believe even within seconds we've already managed to get this thing buggered up it's there and that's what we want silver into midfield damn god That's it. That's it. Right. 
Silver will swap for Ronaldo. Done. I managed to get 0102 downloaded by phone using an emulator quality game. It is, it's, it's a brilliant, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, to be honest. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Caragno would apparently be a, a decent signing. Let's uh, stick him on a short list. Fully scout player. Yeah, cool. Pastina. Fully scout. Pabretti, fully scout. Pellegrini, fully scout. Diambo, fully scout. Not bothered. Uh, yeah. Michael Vlap. Nah. Not if you're only a C star player. Matt Ritchie, no, thank you. Carlos Salcedo, fully scout. No. Condi de Winder. Yeah, fully scout. We'll get these guys done. Um, seems to be quite a few already at the start, so that's pretty good. Um, Paulinho, oh God, yeah. Let, right, let's have, let's have a quick look at the. Um, before we go anywhere, let's have a look at the free transfer market. See who's kicking around, um, and available. Danny Alves is already there. That's a good. That's a great start. Uh, Nani's got a bid in for someone. Okay. Right, who do we think is going to be the the best unattached player we can find? Uh, Mangala Aramenko Iago Falke Adriano, not the Adriano Not the Adriano, unfortunately Adebayor Ex-City Mangala, yeah 30-year-old centre-back maybe, maybe worth a trial Eremenko's brother was one of the best footballers I've ever seen live. Is that is that true? Okay. 37-year-old Adibayo is probably him and Cagliarella. That's going to be quite slow up front, isn't it? <laughs> it's not going to be the quickest. Um, it's not going to be the quickest, is it? Uh, Graziano Pella, 36. Uh, Marcelo Gaioni. Uh, Solomon Kalou, 35. Fabio Contrao, 33-year-old Fabio Contrao, maybe, Sydney, not so much, Papisise, Jack Wilshire, <laughs> Czech Clement, Clement Grenier, oh he is a free agent, 30. In he comes. Very good shout. Very good shout. Willy Caballero. Yuri Zhirkov. 37. Winston Reed. Nabil Bentaleb. Asamoa. Doug Lau. Nigel de Jong. Nigel de Jong. <laughs> 36 year old gets himself in there. Zerkov sounds suspect, yeah. <laughs> uh, Olivier Kragel? Looks alright actually as well. Not too bad for a 31 year old. Sully Montari. Fernando Lorente. Big Andy Carroll. <laughs> right. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Right, here we go. <laughs> you know what? Let's take Nigel de Jong as well. And let's also... Uh, where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's where's Jack Wilshire gone? Here he is. 
I've just had a message from Mrs. J going, have you not even played a match yet? Nope. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> oh, Narsing. That's a good shout. That's a very good shout, actually. Um, a guy who I clearly can't pronounce. Um... This is fun. This is fun. <laughs> if you find El Mohammedy, <laughs> Kevin Morales, Al Robson Carnu, and this is literally this is like playing Italian football, isn't it? Like just find the oldest players you can find, um, and just stick him in a team. Dusko Tosic, Nick Blackman. Don't even mention the color. Platini, I mean, he's he's absolutely over uh, overnamed, isn't he? Stefan Sessignon, Canabeek, Sado Dumbia, Dumbaya, my lord, Dumbaya, Jorge Valdiva, Adrian, oh, no, that's the, not the goalkeeper, Adrian. Uh, Renato Neto, uh, Josko Simonovic, 27, 6 foot 3, non EU as well. Dumbaya is the biggest flop I've ever seen live. <laughs> Who else have we got down here? Henri Saive. Uh, Simonovic would be an actual suggestion, not a meme suggestion. Was good at Celtic. That's handy to know. That is handy to know. Ancient, Anicent, Daniel Apara. Is he only thirty? Milan Skoda, Wanderson, thirty-five. Yanger and Biwa. Is he still? A, is he still a free transfer? Is he? Adam at um, Adam at my Bordeaux challenge and. He wasn't, he wasn't great, to be honest. Umar Niasi from Everton. There's a player. There's a player. Uh, his work rate's really good. Branislav Ivanovic. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Marcel Heller. Matthias Stefan Sunday. Aaron Hunt. 34. Now the thing is, a lot of these players I'm getting quite excited about because they were about 20 the last time I saw them on the game, and now it's like, oh, they're 37. And um, Wilson Palacios, <laughs> Beto, uh, Lucas Pacorni, Robbie Brady, Shibala. Don't see much about him. Jefferson. In sewer, former Liverpool defender. There's Dar Singh. Quick, isn't he? He's very quick. Grenier, we've got a bit in for. Christian Maggio, Sai Maggio's relation. Adrian Mariapa. Lamina Corne is on a free. There, there's MB, there's a younger and Biwa. Get him in for a trial as well. Lamina Corner is big as well, isn't he? How about, how about we how about we create the land of the giants with Sampdoria? Turn them all like fucking massive. Adrian Stoyan. And like literally just try and not spend any money. Free free transfer monster squad. You don't know how you don't know how serious I am considering signing Andy Carroll though. In fact, in fact, to be honest, you're probably all aware. You're probably going, I can't believe you even just offered him a trial. I can't believe you didn't just give him a full contract there and then. <laughs> well, yeah, here he is. We're photographing him on the on the pitch, in the shirt already, with a pint in his hand. Uh, Alexander Boscovich. Big Geordie Carroll. Yeah, get him in. Get him in. Uh, where was Corn here, then? All the Brexit of all Brexits. <laughs> uh, where's Lamina Corner? Now the thing is, we've only got we've only got um, 
the Italian League's Lord on, so some potential might not happen. A straight partnership of Robson, Carnu and Carroll. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Jack Wilshire, Simjevic, Mangala, Andy Carroll goes on. <laughs> I thought it said Raji Striker. <laughs> It said it says Rangy. I thought it said Raji. I was just like, yeah, yeah, Raji striker makes sense. God bless Google Images. Photoshop is sitting right now. Man Mangy striker. <laughs> Evening, hello, guys. Welcome in, Nick. Nice to see you, buddy. Hope you're well. Yeah, I genuinely thought it said Raji, which is just to some of them inky. They're obviously not gonna. They're not gonna understand. But for us, that makes total sense. This is going to be amazing. Like this, it doesn't even matter what happens. Like, also as well, if we if we get sacked, who cares? Ungubu, let's have a look at Ungubu. Um, who does he play for? Sorry, uh, Hellemes, because we've only we've literally got the Italian leagues loaded up. So, um, Serie A, Serie B, Serie C. I watched Jordi Shore. I speak the lingo. <laughs> to training camp add to training camp add to training camp injured on the way to the training camp Mangala decent Andy Carroll fringe player I thought they would have a different I was about to, to, to look at that right gonna have to send this to Matt right now stick it in the discord see what he see what he thinks and I'm not even gonna because it's not even gonna say that we've we've only got him on trial or oh, it does say that never mind Uh, oh, welcome in, uh, you, you Zeus Tosba. Welcome in for the uh, for the raid. Appreciate that. How was your stream? Nice to see you all. Hope you're well. Um, first look at FM22 tonight. Uh, Emra, nice. Welcome in. First time chatting. Lovely to see you. Um, we're doing a we're doing a Sampdoria save uh, here on FM22. I'm Tony, by the way. We um, stream usually Wednesdays and Sundays, but of course. FM22 decided to drop tonight, so we're doing a little bonus stream, um, jumping in. We've actually got a Peterborough save going on, which um, we were hoping to stream tonight. Um, we weren't really expecting to do this tonight, but never mind. Here we are. This is going to be good. Um, what were you? Um, what were you streaming tonight? Uh, you could subs. Uh, Tosba was your. Um, we doing sports? It says here. So part of the Twitch Twitch affiliate or. Um, but welcome in. Welcome in. Hope everyone's well. Um, drop follows around if you like what you see. Drop a follow on the uh, on the stream. Um, we're just hanging out, we're having a good time. Uh, this is a monthly challenge that we do. Um, <laughs> oh, I've just seen what Rogi's posted in the Discord. That is beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, Rogi. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, yeah, get get involved in the Discord as well. By the way, guys, if you're uh, if you're in, we're not we're not really playing as a serious save this one. Um, so unserious. We've taken Andy Carroll. On, on trial um we just figured it'll be a bit of fun for for a couple of weeks until the um until the main save until the main game comes out so um in terms of who we might play as going forward we're going to do uh the danube challenge that's the plan that we're doing going forward which i believe is there no no we haven't got the uh so it's fm22 danube that'll give you that uh, Andy Carroll and Cagarella, the dream front partnering that nobody knew that they had or wanted, but now it's here. Uh, glad to follow you. Good stream. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you very good indeed. Much indeed, Tosper. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll drop a follow back on yourself as well and return the uh, return the love. So, a um, little bit of a meeting. Let's see what the suggestions are for areas to improve. We've got a couple of crazy tactics as well, by the way, we're going to try out. So, <coughs> it could be. It could be something fantastic. It could be something absolutely ridiculous, but we might as well. We might as well try, right? Um, this is good. They've actually brought something to the table, and they brought Phil Jones. Add to shortlist approach agent. <laughs> very keen. Uh, we were very keen on signing Phil Jones, but no one. Ah, okay. So there's a bit of in interaction as well, um, which is quite nice. So we can talk to the agent, let him know sort of how how serious we are about what we want to do as well so so let's say we are keen and would like to know what his demands are <laughs> to rehab phil jones's career so phil jones 
Jack Wilshire and Andy Carroll. <laughs> Oh god, the Sampdoria medical bill is going to be out of the chart in it. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Uh, in Moldova, managed Zimbru Chizanzo. I was gifted a club scarf from a family friend when younger. That's pretty cool. I like that. Because the only other option, I guess, is, is Sheriff. And, and everyone's going to be doing Sheriff. Um, so, okay. Remind me. Remind me about that, Inky. We'll, um, we'll do that. Let's see what we want. Uh... Three and a half million, we could do that from from Man UFC. By the way, just in case anyone's uh, interested, we'll just write that down. Man UFC, that apparently is a thing. Um, three and a half million pounds. That's not bad at all. That's not bad. We could do that. Fifty grand to seventy grand. Yeah, let's just agree. Let's agree with that. That's pretty decent. There's no offers of interest currently registered for Phil, so I just suggest you quickly jump to again jump on other clubs. Oh, I like that. That's a nice touch. That's a nice touch. Um, right, okay. Tick. Roof and priority focus. Okay, that's so there's a couple of screens we're just clicking through. Uh Mucasio looks like a, just a free player, is he? Is he free? Okay, I'm in on trial. From from they who shall not be named in Italy. Um, okay. Um. Bully scout him. Bully scout Lorente. Now nah, we've got Andy Carroll. We don't need Lorente. Where we're going, we don't need no Fabian Lorentes. Um, What have we got? Sorry, not officially. Um, when the game's out, there'll be one on the beta workshop. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Anyway, that's my plan. Um, I hope that the Moldovan League's out pretty quickly. I'm sure there will be. I'm sure someone will do it pretty quick. Um, I'd imagine it would. <coughs> Rome got beat 6-1 by Norwegian champions. I know they did. They got absolutely hammered, didn't they? Um, Michael Bradley. Again, I'm a fan of Michael Bradley. Approach to sign. Ask agent about availability. Ten grand. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Michael Bradley. I'm a fan. Loved him at Villa. I know he's 33. But age ain't nothing but a number. That's what they that's what they say. Right, keep going. We're an hour in. We've not. We've still nowhere near played a match yet. <laughs> still nowhere near. Spurs have lost as well. Interesting. Okay, so Masaccio, important player in the prime years. Nice. In fact, right, let's have a look. So, what's our non-EU situation like, though? So, we've already got two: Coley and Yoshida. We can only have two. So. Hmm. That's interesting then because I think he's possibly better than both of these guys. Um, I would say he probably is, isn't he? He's only 5'11. Doesn't quite fit in the land of the Giants, does he? We'll see. We'll see. He can play Libero. Argentinian, yeah. He probably can, to be honest. It's in the blood, isn't it? It's in the blood. Right, let's have a quick let's have a quick little look then. Okay, so put him there. Take him out. I'll play. As I said, as I said earlier, this is this game has literally caught me off guard tonight, so we weren't expecting a uh, an FM 20 22 stream we were uh, we were expecting to have to be struggling on with our uh, our Peterborough save let's get Sabdoria relegated no let's not let's 
let's let's try and do well, right? Let's try and like, if we end up getting relegated, then you know that's 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 another thing entirely. But let's try and do well. Mal has just tweeted the first forty-five hour one forty-five minutes. Sixty-four billion pounds have been spent on transfers. And you know what? Not a penny by us. Not a penny. Nah. And we we will not be spending a penny because we are going to go for free transfers all the way. We're going to get bargains. Is the Peter safe finished? No, no, it's not. It's not. Um, Chazzy, we're going to finish it during the week. I reckon. Um, we'll we'll come back to it. It deserve it deserves a proper finish. I think it deserves to finish properly. Um, so what we'll do is we will um, just give it a bit of time. Play this over the weekend, and then next week we'll come back proper schedule. Get back in, and we'll uh, we'll do do Peterborough. Um, what's going to happen along the watch along again? Like if people still want to do that, I'm still happy. I'm happy to do it. We can still do that. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to turn. Uh, Carol into a into a tar, into a target man, um, with a trek and with a porcher as well. So, or oh, maybe there, that could work, couldn't it? Great news! They've changed the name. Maybe postponed to posh save is done. But the the watch along, um, we could do. We could do. Uh, yeah, target forward. They're called now, uh, rather than, than target man. Um, which again, that's quite handy if they're going to start putting women's football in the game because you can't call them target man, you have to call them target forwards. So nice touch, nice touch football manager. Um, I'm happy with that as a as a star lineup. Let's put Jack Wilshire in there. Maybe take him off as a Mazala. Maybe put him as a uh, what would you, what would you class Jack Gr uh, Wilshire as? Just slow. <laughs> Just, just a general slow player. Um, just central midfielder, maybe DLP possibly. Three, four, one, two, Kaggies. <laughs> There's a DLP possibly, then he can. Yeah, and then the Mez will run there. DLP will sort of hang here. Libero will get there. Um. Wide centre back, wide centre back. Yeah, let's have a go, shall we? Let's have a go. Okay, what's the mentality? The mentality is balanced at the minute, but I think we probably turn up to positive at least and try uh, try and do something a little bit different, shall we? Um, so, by all accounts, if you look in the background, this changes. Um, and it's a little thing, but apparently at the end of the match there should be towels everywhere, so that'll be quite good. Um, your favourite, show me what you've got. There are places up for grabs. Play with no pressure, it's all about fitness. Pre-season, expect to win. Pre-season, relax and enjoy it. Um, places up for grabs. Expect quality finishing. Andy Carroll demotivated. <laughs> yes. <laughs> already, already demotivated. <laughs> let's go. Let's go positive first of all. Actually, you know, let's go attacking. We're playing Mantova. So welcome to swimming manager. <laughs> right, here we go, chat. First proper look at uh, FM22. Um, let's extended highlights, director cam. Looks quite looks quite nice, doesn't it? Looks quite nice out there. Carol's probably turned up steaming. I hope so. I hope so. Can we turn it up a tiny bit more, maybe. Tony, I expect you to score goals. Carol, I don't have the facilities for that bit, man. Yeah, I think I think I absolutely think it's that the modern big Duncan Ferguson, big big Duncan disorderly. Right, here's our wide centre back. By the way, Ooh. oof, 
Corley getting himself up there. Yoshida, Corley, Kondreva. Um, is the game too loud? Do I need to turn the game down or is it loud enough for you? Obviously we play with uh, with the sounds on, so. Fluid E, welcome Casa Durand. Big Andy gets himself up. Oof. Cal with the flick on. Free kick. Wilshire gets it away. Caglarellas drops the shoulder. Nice turn, actually. Candreva, Coley. Actually, the animation is a lot nicer, isn't it? They're, they're, they're moving with their arms, like, so that's like. Ooh. So you're actually seeing when they get the ball, they're, they're physically, physically turning themselves, which is, which is great. Spending every minute in front of, my, of the weekend in front of my computer. Yeah. I think we're all doing that now, to be honest. Terra Grosse. Big Cags. Boom, boom. And we're off. Play the song after every goal. <laughs> I need to have it. Um, what I'll do is I'll get it as a little, uh, as a little alert. <laughs> they will have that as our celebration. <laughs> Here he goes. Andreva, Vieira, big Andy Carroll. Oh, thing is, if Andy Carroll scores, we're totally signing him, right? In fact, we're signing him anyway. Let's be honest. Right? We'll then do channel point bets as to how long he's going to spend injured. I think that it feel, this feels loud. Boom headers, penalty taker, get the whole thing going on. Ooh. Right, so. Reasonable first half, isn't it? Reasonable first half, that'll do. Keep going, who are we going to bring on in the second half? Uh, Grenier, possibly, might, might get a little look in. Um, possibly bring him on for Vieira, because Vieira's obviously going to stay. We need to work out what Wiltshire can do. Can he play a full 90 minutes? <laughs> I'm guessing, probably not. That's quite nice. I don't know if that's a thing as well. You can see... Uh, how much of the games have played? That may have been FM twenty one as well. I 
do that. The new animations are slick. They're really, really slick. Really slick. It's going to look very static when we go back to FM21, isn't it? Like, as weird as it sounds, there is like a huge jump in difference uh, in, in, in the quality of it. Uh, let's have a look at Simunich. Mangala as well, maybe. Why is it not? I'm sorry. Right. right. Big cags. Played for FM21 in 2D to really sell it to the people who have not played FM22. Also got the weird passes and I'm strangely delighted. I love it. Yeah. It's perfect, innit? You need the weird passes. You need that. Absolutely need that. Genk you're going to be. Nice. That's a great shot, actually. Again, just little things like just shepherding the ball and like sort of using your body. Um... It already plays. It already plays nicer. Got the Mangala. Follow up. Headers in the box do look nice. <coughs> Give it the boom booms every time we score. Maybe, maybe not every time because we'll be playing it all night. Just by how Caglarella is. Lovely ball, Mangala. That's how the wide centre back works. That's how the wide centre back works. <laughs> the overlapping centre back getting forward. That looks nice. Quarantine cyclist, how are you, my man? Welcome in. Pleasure to see you. Um, this is the first night excitement. Yeah, it's going well. It's going well. We're enjoying it. I think uh, everyone sees that. I'm look at Mangala just moving up, by the way, over here in the uh, in the corner. On the ball now. This is your wide centre-back on attack. It's Kandreva. Oh. Solid result. So we need, so we need, just keep getting two nils. We're all right. We'll be fine. Good save. <laughs> you want to get it? Yeah. You know what? I think it's, um, yeah, I think, I think it should be fine. I think it should be fine. I mean, that's Gib, that's the formation that's going to make your eyes bleed. <laughs> Andy Carroll got seven point two though, so it so it works. He, he could be he could be the chosen one. There we look, bananas, things thrown all over the place, towels, mucky mucky changing but changing room. It isn't posh ball, no, no, it's something something a little different, <laughs> but equally equally ridiculous. Yeah, it's 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 daft enough that it might work. Um, it's very attacking. Um, make it to positive, I suppose. It's it's quite not four treks to the apocalypse, no. But but it could be. It could be. if we if we really believed enough in it, it could be. 
Uh, oh, analysis. Right, match momentum. So we were on top all through the match, all through the game. Um, won a tiny bit where we weren't. Let's have a look. Strong momentum when looking at the match overall. The first half, Sampdoria enjoyed the better of things, were genuinely dominant throughout the period. Sampdoria was strong in the second half, was superior. Between the match minutes 47 and 90, we pretty much ran the show. So that's interesting to, to read. Um, match XG. Yeah, we were 3.22, creating good chances. More shots, convert them. Uh, more individual high quality chance even though our average shot quality was similar to our opponents which is very good to see last match press map okay pass map sorry analysis has got a massive upgrade this is this is big um, oh combinations that's quite nice so if I click on Ronaldo Vera and Wilshire, maybe. That's cool. So you get to see where where Wilshire was passing the ball, where he was receiving the ball. That's quite nice. A bit condensed down that left hand side, yeah. Uh Wolf, 68. Appreciate the follow. Very kind. Thank you very much for that. Um how long can you play the beta? You can play the beta until the uh, full game's out, Dutch. Uh, welcome in by the way as well. Um, so we're going to play it obviously until launch. We will uh, be back with Posh as well. Uh, we're going to do Posh next week. Um, so that's it. Where's Andy Carroll getting the ball? In this pocket here. Uh, I'm playing with Aguello. Carroll's there. Vieira. So Vieira and Carroll playing, playing link-ups quite nicely. Cags. getting the ball as well nice okay hmm interesting shots straightforward I guess kind of as they were last last uh, last game and then yeah the same but yeah that, that passing map is pretty cool I like that and then the reports again similar to to last time so Cool. Team report. Shot accuracy. Goals. Shows the trajectory of the shots. Nice. This is the actual data hub itself. It's pretty good, actually. I quite like that. I quite like that. I think we'll play around with that quite a bit this year, particularly when we're in the second division of Bulgarian football. I'm sure that'll really, uh, really get used a lot. Um, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. I will. I will use it though. I'll absolutely use it. Uh, development center. We know about. That's fine. Nice, that's a that's a nicer formation. It looks like it looks like they've taken the squad depth. Uh off. There it is. That's better. nice your PC's just crashed oh dear <laughs> welcome back in though Yonaman welcome back in um, yeah so if you are new welcome in as I say by the way um, we are going to be streaming this every basically our, our stream schedule is Wednesday and, Wednesday and Sunday we were talking about putting an extra stream in for FM22 because the uh, because the save that we're going to do is um it's the Danube challenge this year. So that's what we're gonna do as part of the uh as our main 
Twitch stream. So that's that's what it is. Have a quick little read up on that. It should be quite good, good, good fun. Um, so we take. Uh, So we basically take take um take a trip down the river Danube. All these countries, of course, cross through it. Um, Austria, Bulgaria, Hungary, Slovakia, Croatia, Romania, Serbia, Ukraine, Moldova. When we can get the Moldovan uh, database and Germany, we'll finish in Germany. Um, and basically, what we'll do is we need to win a the highest league in each of those nations, and then ultimately we'd like to win a European trophy as well. Um, Champions League, of course, being the, the main one. Um, however, uh, when it gets to Germany, we want to finish on Sao Paulo. So we don't want to go into like the top ones, like the Dortmunds and the Munichs. We basically want to be... Um, uh, yeah, we want to get to somewhere that's a little bit more sort of like uh, right, uh, left wing. Um, doesn't the club actually need to be near the Danube? Um I think it could. I think it does actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh god, that's going to make it even more confusing, isn't it? Um, let's try and work that out in terms of logistics as to where that is. Um, I think it depends on how hardcore you want it to go. I'll have a look at the teams, and if, they, if it makes sense to do that, we'll do that. Okay, unless they're all racist, then we won't. <laughs> we'll 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 move on, and we'll do it slightly differently. Um, but yeah, we will we'll definitely try and get as as close to that as we can. Uh, from what I've read up, it's hardcore rest, restriction to have it be one near the Danube. You can still do it just by country; and it'll be fine. Okay, right. Well, we'll we'll sit. Me and the mods will sit and work it out. If it looks like it's uber hardcore and the teams are fine, we'll do it. Obviously, in game it's trickier to get exact teams to go manage. Because we obviously want to go and try and go to those clubs specifically. Um, we'll try it. If it's just a case of we're managing a club in each nation, then we'll do that as well. So we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully we can get it um, as close to the hardcore version as possible. Um, but you can never really tell, can you? Um, right, let's stick with that same, same abysmal formation. Um, you still do it by country, it'll be just fine. That's cool. That's cool. That's what we want. <coughs> yeah, I quite like it as well, to be honest. Um, it's um, the plan was that's nice. Um, the plan was we wanted to obviously do a European journeyman and then potentially go somewhere else with it as well, depending upon when we figured it was a reasonable time to move um this one i think is just a little bit more it has a purpose as a point um so yeah we'll try that right so this is our uh second friendly of the evening we've been playing for an hour and a half this is our second match we've already been called out by mrs jago and you're gonna actually play the fucking game um yes we will we will slowly we'll get there in our own time Oh, that's right. Nice, Coley. Came at the worst time. What's the challenge involving? The, is this the Danube? Uh, no, right. So this isn't the Danube challenge, Kit Club. Um, this is uh, happy beta day to you too. Happy beta day. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is just our beta save, which is Sampdoria. So we're gonna play for a year, two years, depending on how long we can get in the. Uh, oh, in the the lifestyle of the beta. Obviously, we were expecting to still be playing posh tonight, so we do still have an FM21 save, which we need to finish. Trying to keep Peterborough in the Premier League for the second season running. Um, it's It's been a challenge. Terra Grossa. If she's not happy with the way you're doing it, she could always have a go herself. She will. She will as well, Northern Pilgrim. She will. She'll come up. She'll take over. Um, and then I'll be out of a job and you guys will be start watching Mrs. J stream and I'll be like, oh, I, I used to do that. And then I'll be like, yeah, she's now she's now the popular streamer in the house. 
Uh, we did a draft, actually. Some of you might remember we did a draft a while back. That was really good fun. We might try that again at some point. Do a uh, Mr. and Mrs. J draft. Exciting posh been in the fan <laughs> expecting posh been in the fantasy league already. Look, we haven't look, we haven't technically been the fantasy league off. The fantasy league's still there. Just we panicked a little bit. Um I panicked a bit. Obviously our Twitch sports contract, well my Twitch sports contract uh, came to an end. That's a great goal by the way. Um West Ham are smashing Genk 3 0. Rapid Vienna's a definite yes. Definitely one of the Vienna sides. Rapids, Rapids a good shout. Um, that's a good goal to concede. <laughs> if we're going to concede a goal, then that's a good goal to concede. That's a nice little animation of the keeper. Like, oh, for God's sake, Red Star Belgrade. Possibly a, a thing with with some of the clubs. Is I need to read up on their background as well because I don't want to instantly jump in and be like yeah they're the great ones and then sit there going oh dear they're really quite terrible people um the there'll be a couple of ones that we'll go to who are just successful clubs so we can get in and out of the nation and move quickly there'll be a couple of ones that we want to kind of do a bit of building um with and uh and that should be i think it should be a fun save to be honest i think it should be fun i'm looking forward to it They have a racist hooligan problem. Probably won't. I probably won't manage them. Then I probably won't do them. <laughs> if if the clubs if the clubs have a racist hooligan problem, there's a, there's there's a one hundred percent chance I won't be managing that team. Oh, oh. They, they did used to be a powerhouse, yeah, but I still can't overlook the whole racism thing. Call, call me, call me old-fashioned. You know, but if you've got a big racist problem, I can't, I can't go past. I just, I can't instantly be be there for uh, for the rebuild. Tony's on his political correctness mission of 2022. Exact Tony Jameson's morally good adventure. That's what we're hopefully calling it. Um, the Greek league is always fun. I've never managed in Greece. No, I managed in Greece. I managed in um, in Turkey in uh, in FM twenty one. That was brilliant. I loved that. Honved, yeah, yeah, rather than Hervid, yeah. MTK, two historical clubs in Budapest. Wait till two seasons at that club and they found their owners a racist dictator. I'll just leave. I'll leave. Problem with all the Eastern European club fans. Well, sadly, you know, that's fine. We can say that, but let's be honest. England have just had uh, have been told they've got to play a national match behind closed doors because of their racist problem. So we, you know, we can chuck stones all we want. We're in a glass house. Like it's not a great idea. It's not a great look, is it? Uh, Vassas is definitely the uh, the team that I'd be looking at. Vassas. Although I'm definitely I'm going to get some uh, advice off uh, FM Greeno as well. He's the uh, He's the, the Hungarian expert. Uh, it wasn't due to racism, it was due to fans invading without tickets and causing carnage. Okay, okay. The whole racism was obviously after and not connected, but there was a large racist problem, wasn't there? I'm not, I'm not making that up, right? That was definitely a thing. Did I, did I catch that right? Just, just making sure I'm on, I'm sure there was a racist thing. You know, Rashford and Saka and uh, Greenwood, they were all, they were all fine, weren't they? They, they just, they got applauded by the fans, I believe. Um, nobody, nobody got, nobody sent anything. Ooh. I'm being flippant, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scoops, how are you, buddy? Welcome in. <laughs> It's, it's not it's not as serious as, as it sounds. <laughs> that was the racist matter we for FIFA didn't manage to investigate. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. But there was still a racist thing. So So yeah. So we're not gonna bother with that. Would you rather kidney stones or ingrown toenail? Um uh, probably 
I don't know, actually. My mate had kidney stones. It looked like it was agony. Um, but that's because he drank too much Iron Brew. So, and Ingrow Toenails. Yeah, that doesn't sound pleasant either, does it? Um, went to watch Bannock when I was in Ostrava. Great experience. Think, think there again. Trouble smell the support. It's troubles with all support, sadly. That's the problem. Caglarella, whenever Caglarella scores, we have to do that. Um, yeah, the um, there's there's loads there's loads of of, of bad bad eggs, sadly, uh, in the world. So it's going to be a tough challenge trying to make trying to just deal with nice people. But we'll do our best. Vieira with a goal, nice. But the transfer valuation rather than one static number, but I do think the values of your own squad should be static. Oh, I haven't had a look at that yet. We'll have a quick, quick little uh, snoop around. I had an Ingro toenail where the nail actually grew through my toe. Ooh. Ooh, I don't think, I don't think that's, that's. I don't know. I don't like the sound of that. Do you love our Lord and Savior Andy Carroll? The answer is yes. By the way, for everyone in the chat, the answer is yes. Yes, you love Andy Carroll. Um, you love him more than you. You love him more than you want to let on. Like that's the thing. You love him more than you want to let on. Um, <laughs> I've just had a t <laughs> there. They go. All right, there's a text here from from Matt Taylor Richards, right? Um, who said you can tell the chat I've done my usual thing of downloading it and going to bed at a sensible hour because one of us has to. Sounds like one of us has, has, has uh, got Andy Carroll on trial and the other one is going to be doing tactics. I don't know. You're not absolutely loving Andy Carroll like, or you want Andy... Like, look, Andy Carroll is absolutely going to be the, the, the star of this save, right? And you know what? I'm just going to buy him. I'm just going to buy him. I think it'll work. I think it'll work. I heard you want to sign Dominic Solanke. <laughs> oh. With that, that looked pretty good, like a little sort of stamp of the ball that spun up in the air and then like bang that was brilliant um, Cags is knackered he can't play two games in a month Cags is going to be uh, he's going to be our um, our Aid McGeady isn't he Andy Carroll Ballon d'Or absolutely and C yeah perfect perfect all hail Andy Carroll There's our centre back, overlapping. Oh, that was beautiful football, beautiful football. Oh, here's David. David's in. Oof. Welcome in, David. How are you, buddy? Oh, sorry. And Scoops, I didn't give you a shout out as well, by the way, man. You need to get one as well. Uh, shout out for David. Shout out for Scoops. Hope you guys are well. Is it that one? There you go, yeah. Yeah. Up the posh. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan, yeah. The posh indeed, man. We're not We're not on the posh tonight, sadly. Tonight is uh, is Sam Doria and Andy Carroll. That's right, Andy Carroll. Um is on trial at Sam Doria, along with uh, Jack Wilshire and um Oh boom boom Cagularella is scoring the goals. We're still in pre-season, by the way. We're playing with wide centre-backs on attack because, of course, we are. 
We've got a libero, because of course we have. We've got we've got this formation, which is like classic Jameson ridiculousness. Wide centre backs, wide centre backs, libero, uh, Mazala's in the midfield, or Mazala and a deep line playmaker, two wide midfielders, a Trequatista and a target man and a poacher. New game looks pretty good to be honest. It was pretty good. I think we're happy. I think we're all happy um, as we're uh, as we're going through it. So this is obviously my my Discord challenge um, where we have the challenge is going to be one season with Sampdoria. I might play obviously a little bit a little bit longer. I'll, I'll play until the main the main game comes out. To be honest, um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a going to be decent. Peter Crouch. I think Peter Crouch is officially retired, so we probably wouldn't be able to get him in. Um, no joy, no joy, senor. I mean, I think Andy Carroll's done enough. I think Andy Carroll's done enough. Not as good looking as your hair, though, mate. Oh, Ryan, Ryan, you charmer. You're absolutely charmer. Where is he? Where is he? Where's the big man? Where's the big man? Andy Carroll, you've done you've done more than enough to warrant this move. Will appoint the players captain? Uh, no. <laughs> like, good... Good, good try, but no. Uh, eight grand, it, born, brilliant. Easy, easy business, easy business. Um, Mangala's been good actually as well. Musacchio, we can't probably can't register because he's. Has he got an Italian passport, do you reckon? Yes. Does that mean he's not going to count as uh, as foreign then? not having any of it fine walk away walk away i don't care <laughs> yes dean how are you buddy welcome in welcome in the point i've got i'm just uh i hope uh hope you're well by the way man appreciate the uh you coming back in and checking this out um obviously we're now up to where you were uh, a few months ago so hope all's well i uh, hope life's treating you good um, we are having a little bit of a play around. We've done our. Um, we are Sampdoria in our first uh, first uh, go at FM22. This is the tactic, David. That's gonna that's gonna make you hate your life. Um, so wide centre backs and attack, because because of course, of course. Right. Um, what do we have for dinner tonight? We actually we had we had toddler tea tonight. We had uh, after after Gib had put it in the uh, in the Discord food channel last night. We made we, we made fish and chips in the oven and thought we'd have that. We were gonna have chicken chorizo or gnocchi. And then we just went with chick with fish and chips. We're like, right, we need to just get something quick because the beta dropped and we're like, oh shit, we need to just jump straight on this and get sorted. So um so yeah, so we had toddler tea, um, which was fine. So here's where we go. What what did you have, Ryan? What was your uh food of choice tonight? Um also, yeah, anyone else wants to put their tea in the uh, in the chat, let us know what you ate. Um, so sweeper keeper on support, uh, libero on support, wide centre back on attack, obviously because it's FM22, everyone wants to see that. Wide midfield on support, wide midfield on support, Mazala, deep line playmaker on support, Trequatista on attack, target forward, target forward, not target man, target forward, Andy Carroll on support, and Cags up top as a poacher. Positive mentality. Work the ball in the box is going to change for, for crosses because they work better. Chicken steaks, chips, and super noodles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what we're talking about, Ryan. That's what we're talking about. Glad we agreed it's breakfast, tea, dinner. I mean, look, to be honest, I call it I call it dinner at home, but because it's toddler tea, you can't have toddler dinner. That doesn't make no sense. So, like, it's toddler tea. Um, but, yeah, I, I do breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, because I'm pretentious. Um, 
cooked curry and rice, didn't make the curry myself. Nice. Still, even if you didn't make it, it's still still good. Miles has just tweeted out, we've spent £46 billion on the beer. That's a whole lot of cash. So well done. Well done, everybody. Well done, everybody on that. That's fantastic. We've spent nothing because uh, we've basically brought Andy Carroll in on a free transfer because that makes complete sense to how we're going to play the game. Uh, if Danny Alves wasn't 38, we'd possibly be looking at him as well. So also the fact that we're not playing with any uh, any fullbacks in this this formation we've got a couple of others <laughs> so i've just said matt i've sent matt uh for, for the podcast podcast matt you know you you know matt you know matt, proper matt uh sent him a thing saying we've just signed andy carroll he's just wrote back jesus fucking christ and then he's given me a groundhog day gift <laughs> I think I think he hates I think he hates it I think he hates me potentially um, more than anything. I'm trying I'm trying my best here. <laughs> He's not having any of it. Um, let's switch that around. Let's give the second string a run out uh, in this one. Chicken shawarma marinated the chicken for a couple of hours. Yes, Gabe. I'm liking the sound of that. That's good. I'm 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 down with chicken shawarma. We made um. We had Brazilian steak, um, sort of skewers the other night. We didn't have any skewers, but like it was like um, so it's essentially like a feta mix, really. Um, but it's, it's so it's like uh, steaks, like steak strips, peppers, onion, and then they put bacon in it. And I was like, Fucking bacon in it? But obviously, bacon goes with everything. Popped it in. Game changer. Game changer. Could have done. Could have done with a squeeze of fresh lime over the top of it. Um, and maybe like a little bit of a, a bit of salsa or coriander or something, but really good, really really nice, really nice. How many hours did it take to sign Andy Carroll? Um, to be honest, the second we saw him on the uh, on the free transfer market, we put him in, and we thought, right, let's let's you know let's get. A, Let's get him in for for a loan, and the fact that now he's signed. So yeah, under two hours, under two hours. I mean, it's it's perfect business when you think about it. You know, Matt Yakwa, how are you, man? Welcome in, my my, my buddy. Let's get you a get you a shower here, shall we? There you go. Hope you're well, man. Um, Peterborough, by the way, for those people who are still wondering where the hell's Peterborough gone, Peterborough will finish um, next week. We'll still do Peterborough next week. It has to be done. We have to. We have to give that that game a proper send off, um, or we have to get sacked and face the music. That's what we've got to do. You know. So either way, either way. Um, hopefully, proper send off, but quite quite likely we'll get fired. It's not playing well. Um, <laughs> again, Mrs. J, was it chicken shawarma that you kept eating in Edinburgh, even though it kept giving you the shits every day? It was, yeah, yeah, it was, it was. There was a place that made that made great chicken shawarma, and there's a place that made cheap chicken shawarma, uh, and the cheap chicken shawarma place was closer to where we were staying. Um, the great chicken shawarma place is the other side of town, so I just went with the cheap one, and every morning. I mean, I'm not going to get graphic, but every morning was was like a bomb site. Awful, awful. That's right, Raul. Only two seconds. Only two seconds. Cheap takeaway is the highest risk reward scenario. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's either absolutely banging or absolutely rotten. Yeah. All I've got. The beater is lovely, mate. The beater is lovely. Um as I said, the the um the match sounds a little bit loud in my ears. I don't know what it sounds like for you guys. Be a slick. So here's our centre back. So that's our midfielder, sorry. Caputo. 
honestly, the the animations, right? Okay, so let's just pause it for two seconds, right? Um, so animations wide, wise, they are literally taking the ball and moving their arms, like you're getting the full sort of like that, and then they're looking and they're dropping their shoulders and they're sort of moving everything fully. So it's just so much smoother, so much smoother. Um, if you have a look on it, you'll see when the ball comes and they're literally, they're turning their full body rather than just having the ball hit them. Um, it just makes a difference. Like even like the little turns that they're such, so they're shaping a bit more. Um, we've seen some, uh, we've seen some wayward passes as well, which like, I'm really big fan of. Like, even their little sort of attempted change of pace, maybe. So here's our wide centre back on attack. Keep your eye on Mangala, who's running in the back here, right? There's our libero. Great ball. Should do better. Should do better. I mean, look, for for a second pandemic game, it's fucking good. Like, you know what I mean? There'll be there will be stuff that we'll find and we'll be like, oh, I can't believe that that's like that's not working you know we've we've been playing it for like two hours so we've not we've not really found the flaws just yet in it and there will be a couple and they'll fix them right and they know that like you know i think there's um there'll there'll be a thread already about what's too many or what's overpowered or what's wrong or you know there'll be like a glitch somewhere so if this is this is the first look right so of course you know, bear in mind that this isn't the finished game yet and even when the finished game comes out, it still needs a patch and a patch. So, you know, tons of changes already. I can imagine, Dean, I can imagine, like, from, as I say, from what you guys have, have made, um, from what you were, from when you were in the chat a while ago saying that you, that you were playing on it and testing it, like, I'm guessing the game is like night and day from what you, from what you were using. Um, but yeah, this is um, just again like great. Like, and I'll, you know, we'll, we'll send send Miles and I'll send Miles on the message and be like, another good, another good. And the team have done well. Literally, everyone's everyone's done great. <coughs> and the thing is, my computer is shit, right? And this is how smooth it's running. Imagine, imagine if I had an actual proper PC that was good. Imagine how good it would look. <gasps> It'd be amazing. Let's have a little look at some of the air. Uh, see what it would look like in terms of live stats, shall we? Nice. Okay, then you can right. So passing maps again. We've we we'll have to show it. So Matty Aqua, we'll have to show you. We'll show you the passing maps when you come back in. They they look great. Look great. Um, who's your pilot with the sub? Appreciate that. Welcome in. Hope you're well. Genuinely appreciate the sub. Very kind. Thank you. Um, so this is obviously our individuals. We'll clear all that as well. It's, um, I might be addicted to FM again. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't worry, Matty. Don't worry. Well, after after we finish this match, I'm going to show you something you're going to love. Um, that's the first the first look at the data hub. Um, balancing your stream and your work. I know, mate. I know it's underlaps look nice. They're working really nicely. Um, you know what? The fatigue is good as well. It's going to force you probably more so than FM21 to rotate and FM21 was really about rotation particularly when you're in the League 1 and lower down like really really focus on rotation Sunderland I'm thinking Bordeaux I'm thinking Wickham I'm thinking <laughs> like games where you couldn't play the same team two, two weeks running great defending um, 
this again is the same like you know big Andy Carroll uh, playing as well as he can out there he's not going to last three games in a row of course he's not Loving everything you say, mate. I'd like, like I say, you got, you got to watch these guys, right? So that cross right there, that, that's your wide midfielder. Wait, Vanden Bond, nice name. Andy Carroll, yeah, you're damn right, Chewy, damn right. Look at that little little nicks. Yeah, I, th I think that's a good point, Norman. Every every FM is the best FM because. I mean, look at that. That's a great tackle. Fantastic bit of animation, that. But I think because you just you just accept it, you just get used to it for the year. And then and then it comes out, and you're like, that's a step up again. Like, and the thing is, like, we don't we don't really care about the animations, right? We don't care about the animation, we don't care about the graphics. Sorry. Because the game's not about graphics. We could play this game on 2D, and it would be brilliant. All the animations are a huge bonus, huge bonus for us, right? We care about the narrative, we care about the data, we care about the gameplay, absolutely. All the things that we that we love. The graphics are an extra bonus. That is a great ball, that's a lovely little uh, run off the back. And the fact that they've now got the game looking like a video game, like fair play to them, fair play to them. You know, loving it, loving it. Oh, the ball trajectory is better. The ball trajectory is much better. Like it seems like when the ball hits something, it genuinely deviates in a way that that looks more natural than than previous games where it's just hit something and moved. Um, this this looks like if it hits the ball in a specific part of the post it will move in the way it would do if it hit the post in real life like that um there you get my final season fm 21 finished asap i know i'm the same like oh look at that <gasps> did you see that the, the, the little block as he just put his, his foot out. Yes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's get Jack Wilshire back on. Van Gaal is a bit knackered, I think, as well. Keep that. The three, the uh, for, for anyone who, who plays two D normally, like this is yeah, play it three D of course this year, unless of course your machine can't handle it, but. I'm reluctant to even put the three the 2D on to see what it looks like, but I'd imagine the 2D still looks great. Because I like the 2D for seeing how the formations play. And I think for because of how we've we've got this formation looking, we might want to see how that plays. So we might we might put it onto 2D for like for a half maybe in the next match. Just so we can see the, the actual movement patterns of the players. See if it is actually uh working the way we're, we're expecting to work it. I swear, God, I've heard Andy Carroll and Jack Wilshire. You have, you have indeed, Matty. Uh, one of them has signed permanently, right? One of them still has to prove himself. And I'm going to let you try and decide which one it might be. Um, so, where are we at? Six weeks for Strapper out with an injured arm. It's not good. It's not good. Napoli, Nice. Let's see, can we get the uh, the thing? Right. Right, is Matty here? Is Matty here? 
because if he is, he, he'll like this. He'll like this. So is it sure? Why can't we uh, see the last match? Oh, it's not doing it. Ooh. I'm trying to bring the data hub up for you, mate. Um, we signed the lad, it's a bit harsh to block his name. <laughs> you can't. No, 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 no. We have. Yeah, yeah, we have, yeah, yeah. We have. And you know what? I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. Right, here we are. Here's the here's the analysis bit. Right, so Matty, this is what we've got, right? So this is your um so this is your uh XG, we're not fussed like that. We want the uh this is the passes, it's the passing network, right? Passive network is a new thing, which I think is probably going to be quite useful. Um, so if we put, for example, if we put Damsgaard here, we can see all of the, the passing triangles he's involved in and who he plays the combinations with and how many combinations. So you can see where, where a partnership is breaking down. Um, yeah, 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 you, you will go nuts for that. So you'll be looking to break up the areas that they exploit. Um, so where we... Oh, so say we go for our, our left hand side you can see we, we've got really, really frequent uh, attacks down the right hand side so we were we were pretty dominant down the right hand side that match not so much down the left um, and successful as well so that's a good a good little uh, little um, thing to look at and that's only with if you see at the bottom that's an intermediate analysis so I'm guessing the, the better analysis you've got the more data you're going to get as well so that could be even more even more beneficial uh the match momentum uh, we weren't actually uh we didn't really dominate that game um despite winning um no did we, did we win? no we drew, drew two two did we no yeah one four nil right we won four nil <laughs> okay but we but we weren't actually dominant what like <laughs> how's that under pressure, under pressure, under pressure. We scored against the runner play here. Absolutely getting played off the park. We scored against. Uh, we scored. We scored when we were on top, and then the second half they battered us, and again we got two more goals. So brilliant. Uh, passive map only shows after matches. Possibly there's the there's the one during the game, which looks a little bit like last year's passive map, but you might be able to to tweak it a bit better uh, and see see where it looks. So. It's definitely worth a look at. Definitely worth a look at. We'll try it during the next match and see if you can get a live one. Uh, Andy Carroll is set aside for Sampdoria. I'm happy. I don't care if anyone else is not happy. It's happening, right? Okay. And I expect I expect two for ones in the uh, in the stadium. I expect t-shirts to be. Uh, to be sold i expect golazzo uh to be shouted from the rooftops um and i'm going to even clip this little bit here because it will anger i will count towards the non-eu players oh shit <laughs> didn't think of that um it would be advisable to ask Caglarella if he's willing to welcome andy carroll to the club Two seconds. Just put in the uh, in the Discord. Ciao, and Andy, Andrea Caroli, uh, Squad Reg. Game in. Confirm. Squad number. I mean, what does he need? Number nine. Can we give him the number nine? There is no number nine. 
does he get does he get the number does he get the biggest number you can get for the biggest striker you can get I think he does don't he sweet carol 9 is sweet 99 there you go sweet carol 99 He's so big. He's too big for a number nine. They had to give him a second number. He's the beat a great one. <laughs> poor Ruben. It's not poor Ruben, really. Ruben, Ruben's... Ru, Ruben's FM21. Ruben will, will make a, an appearance in FM22, but... Um, for now... Um, actually, let me just turn the, uh, the, the, the match volume down, because... It felt like it was quite loud in my head anyway. Uh one four. Was it was it too loud for you guys, by the way? Or was it okay? I don't think anyone sort of like was suggesting it was too loud, so we'll keep it for four then, but I'm sorry if everyone is trying to send a chat containing Andy Carroll's name in the last five minutes. <laughs> I'm guessing a lot of people were sending negative vibes, David, and, and I and I don't agree with it. Um I think that if people are being petty towards our Lord and Saviour, Andy Carroll, then I think they're incredibly short-sighted and they need to remember that Andy Carroll will do nothing. There you go. Fucking Raul, negative again. Right, I'm going to time him out for extreme views. Right. <laughs> yeah. Andy Carroll will do nothing. I mean, look, define, define nothing. Yeah. Look, right, Raul, here's the thing, okay? FM21, you were known for being a bit of a negative ninny, right? You talk about realism. This is a game, a video game, where I am the manager of Sampdoria. What part of realism do we need to be do we need to be looking at here? Right? This is not none of this is real, right? You know, in the in the last in the last game, I'm manager of Holland. I'm about to go to a World Cup. None of it is real. None of it is real. Like this is all, this is all just silliness, escape from reality. You know, so don't don't get get held up on what's real and what's not real. Like we don't need realism, right? It's just we're just gonna chill out. We're gonna have some fun. Particularly this save. This save is literally a dick about. It's the beater. It doesn't matter at all. Like we're trying daft formations. We're buying players that we might not buy in real life. But you know what? We potentially might buy Andy Carroll for a club out in Austria or Moldova or Slovakia. And you know what? He'll probably be amazing. He'll probably be amazing. But the fact that we've got him for free, just for a bit of a dick about looking, you know what I mean? That's what it's about, isn't it? That's what it's about. <laughs> just we're just gonna have a bit a bit of silly play. Oh my captain. <laughs> You know, it's good, man. Meme signings all the way in the beta. Exactly. It's not your job to be realistic. It's your job to enjoy and have fun. That's what you need to do. My job is to be entertained and your job is to be entertained. That's what it is. How much is Iniesta at Kobe? Let's have a look. Iniesta. Ah, we might not be able to get him on because we've only got uh, the Italian leagues loaded. Dutch. Um, right, so we've got a. Uh, we're playing Napoli now. But I tell you, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I can refer to him as Andy Lamppost. <laughs> no, you can do, yeah. Where is he? Balotelli. Come on. Don't tell me he's not in. Don't tell me he's not here. Oh. Funny enough, I'm a level qualified coach. There you go. Mario Goetze. That's not Mario Bellatelli. There he is there. Seven million quid. Seven million quid. I mean, we can ask about him. He doesn't want to join Sampdoria. Well, I think he'll find um, Mario. We're not interested in you either. You know what I mean? 
Zlatan. Zlatan does not want to sign. Zlatan does not want to sign for Sampdoria. Michelinho, yes, my man. Welcome in. Appreciate the raid. How are you? Welcome in. How was your stream? Hope it was well. Uh, hope you had a good time. We are currently Raiders. We are currently playing Sampdoria. This is our first uh, FM22 save. Uh, it's our beta save, obviously. We're only going to do up until the uh, the main release. And at that point, when the main release comes out, we are going to be doing the Danube challenge um, for uh, for FM22. Um, not not RIP Posh. Lamadori, no, no, not RIP Posh. We've got Posh. We're going to play that for... Um, we'll do that next week. Posh needs, needs a proper send-off. It has to be done properly. Um, so... We weren't expecting it dropping tonight. We weren't expecting FM22 to drop tonight. So it was all a bit of a surprise. We were all set to do Posh. And then here we are uh, managing Sampdoria. And people have been popping in. Like I say, so we've now got Michelinio Raid name, which is lovely. Um, so pull yourselves up a seat. If you've not seen FM22 yet, get yourselves a seat. I will warn you in advance because some people aren't, uh, aren't happy with it, right? But we have signed for our first signing of Sampdoria, Andy Carroll on a free transfer, right? And I will back it to the hilt, right? We now have, we've got Cagliarella up front with Andy Carroll. Sweet Carroll 99. Um, we're still in pre-season, by the way. We're about to play Napoli. We have, this is our tactic. So you've actually come at a really good time, Michelinho, right? This is the tactic that we're playing with. He's big, he's tall. He's going to score goals. Andy Carroll. Um, the thinking man's a cardi. <laughs> Um, this is the tactic we've got. Okay, so sweeper keeper on support, libero on support because we're in Italy. Wide centre backs on attack. That's right. You get to see wide centre backs on attack for the first time tonight. They look lovely, lovely. The animations are brilliant for it. Um, wide midfield on support. Wide midfield on support. Mazar on support. DLP on support. Trequatista on attack, slightly asymmetric. Target forward, not target man, target forward. Target forward on support for big Andy Carroll and a poacher up top, which is going to be big Cags, uh, Cagliarella. So this is what we're going to, we're going to play against um, against Napoli. Now, Caputo's just got two goals in his last match. Did really well. Seems a shame to drop him, but we need, we need to see Cags. We need to see Cags. Uh, and while I'm doing that, let's pop the old... Uh, right. We're going to have the uh, the Cagliarella music playing while we get set up, okay? So enjoy Boom Boom Cagliarella, by the way, which is the greatest song ever written. I'm sure you'll all agree. Um, you tried to create a low block tactic with QPR. <laughs> nice. Was that um, was that FM21? Was it Michelinio? Was that FM22? Oh, the, the song's going to be in your heads like forever. Like it's it's literally an earworm. We got the, is that a t-shirt as well? See, so we're doing we're doing a full full proper. Uh, Italian Italian save tonight. If early, it's early in the season, but I feel as this could be the favourite FM. It's possible. It's possible. It feels like a good FM already. And, I, and as I say, there will be stuff that will improve, but it already feels good. This feels like how FM21 felt when it came out. And it was that thing of going, oh shit, like this feels like a, <laughs> this feels like a really good step up. Um, so yeah, I'm excited by it. I'm excited. I think you're the first English person I've ever used to <laughs> do the expression earworm. <laughs> 
try the Catanacho. We've got we've got a Catanacho. We've got one. Get Viali as the assistant. Yeah. Last chance. Ah. If you forget to do a team talk, they tell you you've not done the team talk. Um, uh, Almighty 2, appreciate the follow. Welcome in, sir. Hope you're well. This has been epic. <laughs> Slightly macking in his wide vocabulary. <laughs> uh, this, by the way, we'll show you later on. We've got a couple of different tactics. Um, we've got a Catalan 5 3 2, and a bit of daftness. So. Bugged it up. Right, let's go back. I've, I've managed to knack up my tactic already. See if you can pull to Joe, James Horncastle from BT Sport. <laughs> yes. That's that's the anthem. That's the anthem of the stream. Um, what have we got so far? Sorry, I've missed a couple of things while I've been busy dancing away to Cagliarella and, and Andy Carroll chat. So um, the first person uses the term earworm. Uh, Almighty two. We said thank you for following. Genuinely, very very kind of you to do that. Um, see if you can post James Horncastle. Andy Carroll screaming boom boom after scoring a hat trick in his first league match. That's what you want. We want we want that. Serie A. Um, Almighty two enjoying his beta team in the his Liverpool team in the beta save. Very exciting times. Excellent, man. Excellent. Glad you're enjoying it. How, what do you think of it? Do you think it plays nicely? Um, I think it's pretty smooth, to be honest. Pretty smooth. First time viewer as well, Almighty. Welcome in. Hope you uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you uh, you come back. We are we do a, a Wednesday and a Sunday stream, but I think with FM22, we're probably gonna do at least one more night a week, so looking probably about three times a week i think and um, how many achievements have i done so far um it, it probably won't surprise you to know jm none <laughs> i mean unless unless the first unless the first achievement is sign sign andy carroll um then i don't think we're gonna get any achievements um although i haven't looked maybe i have maybe i've done something and, uh, and not realized but um book a weekend a fortnight off work just in case I know it's going to sound weird, but this feels like the full version last year. It felt a bit glitchy. Never really got out of the beater, and this year is more refined. Ooh. That's a fair point. Arn Furious is in. Yes, Arn Furious. Welcome in. Um, yeah, you know what? That's a good point, because I was Dortmund um, in the beater last year. And, yeah, it felt a bit... It felt good, but I think looking back now, compared to this... This feels more polished than the last year's beta. I agree. Um, so shout out for Mr. Fury, shout out for JM thoughts as well, by the way. So a pleasure to see you back in as always, um, and appreciate those uh, those sub badges as well that you made the other day. So we'll um, we'll sit and we'll work that out. If you if you if you want to do them, then we'll uh, we'll work out how we do that and uh, and you know how much it costs and all that sort of stuff. But um, very kind of it, very kind of you indeed. Um, sign a player player match of both achievements. That we've done them then we've done them if it's sign a, if it's sign a, a, a tall player done that um oh man very very kind of thank you mate thank you very much indeed yeah let's like say yeah we'll, we'll get we'll get a sword we'll just uh oh we'll just um we'll just we'll line one of the fonts up ever so slightly um but yeah they, they're good to go i think i think they, they were great as I say, much appreciate. Well, I'll pop them in the Discord. Actually, let people have a little look before we uh, before we get loaded up on them. New animations from the linesman. Oh, imagine if the linesman falls over. That would be great. I'd, I'd be here for that. That would like that would make my day. Uh, squad rotation, by the way, I'll give you that as a tip already. Squad rotation is so important. <laughs> um, uh, FM John on TV, welcome in, buddy. Appreciate the raid. Very, very nice to see you, indeed. How are you? Hope your uh, hope your stream went well. 
bring an opposition on to push the line though. Good save again by the keeper. Didn't notice, but did notice the linesman more than usual. I think we are, um, sorry, Matty Yako wanted to check the passer maps during the game, so bear with me two seconds. Uh, I think you can only find it on half time, I'm guessing. Yeah, it'll be half time, you can see. Unless it's on the, it's on the iPad. I need to get, I'll get a proper skin, uh, potentially change the skin um, as well. We've got some custom views to use, um, which again, I've got loaded up in the Discord. We use um, Friday Night FM's custom views from the uh, Five Star Potential podcast, so get those loaded in as well. So we'll have them in tomorrow. Uh, let's just see what we can see from here. Uh, shot map. Oh, yeah, so when you see shot map visualizers, kind of where it is like that. Um, so pop that out. Can we see passes? Don't think we can. No, just shots, unfortunately. Uh, match stats, customize. Nah, again, that's the same as last year. Mm, okay, that's fine. We'll we'll sort of keep it as is uh, as it is for now. Yeah, I have an idea. We need to make a goal song with only boom boom. Yeah, well, we we spoke about that as well, Raoul. We'll we'll have that as a little clip and um and pop it in so here's your analytical data then Matty if you're still about um, so players during the game obviously it's same as last year really to be honest uh, might be a good idea of setting up the game VOD for the channel that's not a bad shout actually that's not a bad shout at all I like that Chewy I like that I think you need to do some subs I think I think we probably do need to change a few players at half time um, so this is obviously what we've got here so this is our, uh, our key moments aerial challenges which we can look at Again, same as last year, to be honest. Um, so yeah, actually seeing it in the game live is not really. It's 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 after. It's after the match where you see some more uh, some clearer some clearer images. Um, so if you clear this, can I clear that all? Yeah, and then just go to just uh, just completed passes by. So here's your combination passes, okay? So. Adrian Silva to Andy Carroll, we can see. Okay, can I see that? Yeah. So Shablot to Mangala. That's what I can see there. There's my passes. Um, just check back in. It looks good. Yeah, it's good, man. Really nice. So here's our unsuccessful passes as well. So we can take that, clear that off. Okay, so here's all the unsuccessful passes that have been hit throughout the throughout the uh, the pitch. The um, your unsuccessful passes, by the way, do look do look really nice, particularly when you start to get a bit more tired. There are a few balls that go into areas where you're just like, oh yeah, he's just he's just, just dropped it in the wrong area, um, which is uh, which is good because again that would happen in real life. Um, let's uh, let's make a couple of changes, shall we? Uh, so big big Andy, big Andy's put a shift in. Okay, we'll replace him with there uh, with Caputo. Um, maybe we will bring on a wide midfielder possibly let's see uh, yeah switch him over there there you go that side um, and yeah what we'll do is in the second half keep your eyes out for the um, for the wide centre backs you'll spot them wide centre backs on attack of course we've, of course we've done that you'll spot the movement patterns and it looks it looks looks really nice it looks really nice to be honest um we have got Jack Wilshire in the uh, in the team as well for for a bit of a just for a trial. See if he can do it. We're not sure. So here's Mangala going away. He's one of our wide centre backs on attack. Lovely ball in for Cags. Doesn't quite make it. Doesn't quite make it. But even when the players receive the ball, their body shape is better. Like they they move with their arms. You'll see it. Little drop shoulders. They put their foot on the ball properly. They turn better. Like it's just just feels better like it just feels better fingers crossed for puddles on the pitch in torrential raid oh could you imagine like, i want I want the ball to slide as well like if, if it's a wet surface just the ball just runs out and you can't get it that would be brilliant 
better snow, yeah. Or like or a wind. Like a really strong wind that blows a shot back out of the goal. <laughs> it's going in, but then the ball like sort of veers off. Oh. That's okay. Like the actual the actual football that's played feels better this year. Um need to figure out a way to stop the midfielders and the ball sliding in behind, says Tony, when he has Cagliarella and Carroll up front. Fine. Get them to just hold the ball up. Uh, new stadium models. For, you know, for once, Raul, I actually agree with you. I actually agree with you. Um, a variety of, of, of uh, stadium models would be nice, but at the end of the day, as we said before, all the graphic stuff is just additional stuff. It's nice. It doesn't really add anything to the game per se. The game itself is the game. And that's what we need. Um, yeah, but, you know, I get that. But then I, like, I, I do agree with you. I do agree with you, actually, about how. But then it's like a case of how many more. How many more stadiums do you need to to design in order to get that? You know what I mean? Like you're right. Like a South American stadium, I would like to see. Um, you know, see what that looks like. I'd like to see what a um, what an Eastern European stadium looks like. Like a proper blocky stadium would be great. You know, um, I agree. But at the same time, I'm like going, yeah. You know, get them in. Brilliant. But it's not. It's not going to stop me playing the game. You know, the fact that the stadium's ever so slightly off. Like, you know, I like the idea of you see a stadium develop, so you start in a small ground, and then as your stadium develops, you then see a larger stadium. Oh. Um. Nice. Headed over the top. He was pulling an all night. <laughs> uh, I'm not pulling an all night, I'll be honest. I know this is where the space has got 2,000 people watching him. Fucking hell. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of eyes on tonight on FM. Cags. We'll get we'll get that loaded up properly. <laughs> Work the space. I know. It's 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 great to see that many eyes on on the product tonight. Like like before we logged on, there was like nine and a half thousand people watching Football Manager Twenty Two content on Twitch tonight. That's amazing, amazing. Like the last few weeks, um, the last few weeks, FM Twenty One is averaging about eight hundred viewers. Like at the time we stream, we stream about eight eight o'clock nine o'clock at night. There's about 800, 900 viewers on tonight. There's nine and a half thousand because it's FM22. That's class, isn't it? Absolutely class. You know? So yeah, come on then, who's everyone's new save? Who's everyone starting with? Come on, Vera. Come on, Vera, you've got the legs, you've got the legs, come on. <laughs> Here we go. 
He's done it. He's fucking done it. Just look at that. The little touch off the defender. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful play. Really nice movement. That's pretty impressive. The fact they give you a bit of a... Oh, no. Was it disallowed? Disallowed, possibly? <gasps> yeah, disallowed. Disallowed. That'll do. Uh, can you change the colour of the ball? Or I'm stuck on the blue one, I can barely see. Um, you can download balls. I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. Um, I imagine places like Sword Out SI will have things like that to download. Um, search the free agents. Got myself picking up Carl Robson, Har Hal Robson Carnu as a backup striker for uh, Mikel Antonio. Nice. That's a good shout, actually. We had, we were almost going to bring him on, on trial for, uh, for Sampdoria, but we went with Andy Carroll instead. I figured Carroll gives us a little bit more. Ooh. 3D animation is satisfying. Yeah. It just just looks alright, doesn't it? Oh no. I know, I know. Back post goals. Back post goals. <laughs> what I liked, right? Did you see the little, the little sort of keeper come and then go? Oh, hang on. It's okay. It's, look, it's pre-season. We've got players who are knackered, defenders who are knackered. Keepers come for it, sort of, and then bottled it. So that's the issue. But it's interesting to see where we're, we're matching up against Napoli, though. They're obviously going to be expecting to be better than we are. So um, we're there doing our thing, and a nice defensive play by Napoli sign better older free agents <laughs> yeah I need Yonaman I need you to sign players who are only over 38 right all free transfers but you know literally OAPFC oof right come on boys we can still do this right Mangala is on his feet he's dead on his feet Jack Wilshere, dead on his feet. I mean, he was always dead on his feet, to be honest. But, even more so. Oh! How did that... What the hell? How did that not go in? <laughs> right, we, we've got... We're clipping that, right? We're clipping that, okay? Because that... Has got to be shown, like to the outside world. Okay, that's got to be shown in the outside world. We need, we need that marked down. Okay, so someone put a pin in it. Let me know where it is. Oh, two hours forty-three. Right, I'm gonna. I need to start doing bits and pieces for like YouTube and little clips and stuff. So. I need so yeah let me know little little parts of the stream that you like and we'll we'll click them out and we'll try and uh, put them out as like little I'll put them out on Twitter or something I've got clips on Twitch Ooh. are you saying that Wilshire and Carol bringing chips and jelly deals to Les Samp isn't improving the culture I mean I think this is this is the reason that, that we're as cultured as we are they've they've stepped the team up uh, YouTube going to be end of season reviews I think so Inky yeah I think so I think um, I haven't got time for a, a YouTube save but I think that we need to be we need to have a presence on YouTube um, oh that's a great ball <laughs> um, yeah I absolutely think that an end of season review is quite a nice way of doing it and obviously we'll have the discord challenges as well we'll put up for, uh, for an end of season review so so there'll be stuff on YouTube, just not a, an actual 
let's play like we have with with Twitch. That'll be that'll be. I was gonna say Twitch exclusive, like it, like it's a thing. Um, but yeah, we'll do we'll do the Danube challenge. Cause this is what we're doing. Uh, for anyone who's new, uh, we're doing the Danube challenge um, over here. Wednesday and Sunday, probably one more night of the uh, of the week as well. Um, I thought we'd done it. I thought it was the final whistle. So it's not. Um, probably one more night of the week as well. So we'll try and do three three streams a week. Um, and yeah, that's that's what we think. So let me know what you guys are doing as well. Obviously, we've had a few suggestions up there as well. That I, uh, we were sort of making subs, so I need to go back and catch up on. Uh, Yonaman's doing Genk, which I, I like. I like the idea of Genk. I think we've spoken about that before. Um, we're doing we're doing Club Bruges, by the way. If you're in the Discord. Um, you should join the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. Uh, and if you're in the Discord, we are doing Club Bruges as our first FM22 monthly challenge. So there's a little spoiler for you. Uh, um, that'll be good fun. Um, Manu, but no foreign players for JM. Interesting. I like the idea of that. Homegrown challenge there. Uh, the team that shall not be named. Okay. Um, Preseason West Ham. My goal is to outscore the opponents. Liverpool then be unemployed and try and do stuff outside of England. I like the idea of that, to be honest. Um, team dubs. Uh, F. Jono, F. M. Donald is doing Leicester. Um, what else we got? Back post corners. Back post corners. I know. Twitch is definitely better for interactions. I agree. I agree. I think that that we've built up a great community here to be honest and i know like i know you know every streamer says oh, I've, got, I've got such a great community and i love my community like genuinely this has been mint like for for what we've managed to do in the space of what eight months or whatever seven months eight months um starting with absolutely no idea what we we're doing um building up getting like really good regulars in getting really good viewers getting like a really good chat going on like you know just it's been great like we've had stories built out of uh out of the save which again has been fantastic people have bought into it um feely sean's welcoming back lovely to see you as always um what if we make a youtube channel where we post highlights of the stream and interesting parts of it i mean that's that's literally is that what, what i said i thought I, yeah yeah we are we will we'll do that if there's something that's interesting i can't do um the thing is raul i can't do um can't put it up regularly because i haven't got the time really um we looked at we looked into the idea of possibly getting an editor to do so to edit some bits of the stream together but the streams are like sort of three four hours long so to sit and edit that down and if we're going to be doing three times a, a week that's like 12 hours worth of footage to go through then the editing time then the exporting then the uploading to do that every single week is is a lot of work it's a lot of work um i haven't got the time to do that unfortunately i've got you know i've got two kids um i've got a job got a podcast to do i've got a wife you know what i mean like so like all this is mint um but yeah i haven't got time to then add that extra bit on as well that's why i've taken the, the youtube save away and thought we'd put more time into the actual stream um and actually have a better um a better product there um you can help make shorts on youtube yeah let me know about that because i don't really understand how youtube shorts works like if there's a way of doing it that is not much work but will look good and we can get it done and it'll be useful to us then then you know then yeah we'll we'll look into it but if it's a case of just doing it for for doing it say like like tiktoks or whatever like i've not got any interest in tiktoks i'm a 41 year old man i've got no interest in doing tiktoks i don't care how popular it is like i'm just not i'm just not interested um like it's not my target market so i'd rather i'd rather avoid it um gets a bit much to do it all you think you go full-time one day maybe keep it up try and grow the channel but you know what, Matty, I, I i don't know i don't know to be honest like there's there's half a dozen guys who do it full-time and they absolutely smash it absolutely smash it and i don't know i don't know like i didn't think we'd be where we are in eight months so never mind looking to the next bit of full-time like i'm just i'm just just playing it out and seeing where we get on just keep having fun, keep having fun, and whatever happens, happens, is all we need to know, you know? Um, if we can if we can only nominate Football Manager for the Game of the Year, 
yeah, I think we could do that. So proud to announce I can fire as just showed up as a recommendation for my scouts. Yes. <laughs> Uh, shorts are one minute clip of the tick. Yeah, okay, cool. Excellent. Love the streams, the Discord, even how little I post. The podcasts are all good and enjoyable. I appreciate that, Gitos. Very, very kind of you. Um, Inky there says, Discord's such a positive place and you don't find that often in the gaming community. You know what? Again, I'm, I'm really, really proud. Really proud of how the Discord's gone. Um, again, one of those things where a year ago, I didn't know what Discord was. I had no idea. I had no idea at all. And thought... While we're making the podcast, I was like, we'll do some YouTube stuff. I was like, maybe make a Discord. That would be quite nice. And, yeah, every day we we get lovely things happen on there. It's been really busy today, which has been fantastic to see. Um, really proud of things like the mental health uh, channel that we have in there, where, where people are opening up and explaining how they feel over the pandemic. And, and not just that, but and then having strangers reach out and say, like, look, Here's here's the situation. Like if you feel like this, there's always an ear. There's always an ear. It doesn't matter what time the day is. Like I've we've I've gone back and I check every morning. There's like people messaging at like five o'clock in the morning UK time going like, oh shit, just seeing this. Are you okay? Brilliant. Brilliant. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, yeah, it's been fantastic. Probably take a four hour stream, make it four minutes long, really contain important stuff, be hard and time consuming. Exactly, exactly, Ralph. That's that's the whole point. That's the whole point. It's like I can do it, but you you're gonna need four hours to go back through the stream again, right? Then cutting that down, and 40 minutes is far too long for YouTube. You want to be looking at 15 minutes max, like so it's taking a load of stuff out, chopping it down, getting it all nice. Cutting, 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 and I'm I'm fast as an editor. I'm an editor. I'm fast, but yeah, but I'm not fast enough to have that. Um, then sync up music, then all your tags and your SEO and your thumbnails and titles and like I, I can do it. I can do it, but it would then mean I'd have one one night less streaming, and I don't know whether or not. The benefits would outweigh that. I think we, I think we would probably get more streaming than we would taking that out and having one video a week up on YouTube. Do you know what I mean? I think we can get more. We can do more in the save in a night, even if it's play three more games, four more games. Like, I think that would be more beneficial than getting getting a separate YouTube save. Yeah, and I, I haven't got time. I haven't got time for a separate YouTube save, Jam. So. Um, slap a camera on top basically at it end yeah like you've made my last few weeks for my injuries just put a smile on my face mate feeling like seriously like everything you've gone through if we can put a tiny bit of smile on your face genuinely that means the world to me seriously it means the world to me and, and thank you for, for being here every single night it's just been it's just been class it's really really, really been great and i've i've loved it i've absolutely loved it and i'm very excited to see where this goes because if you'd have said to me a year ago, eight months ago, like right, Jameson, you'll start doing a, you'll start doing doing Twitch. I probably wouldn't have believed you. I probably wouldn't have believed you. Um, and then it'd be like, right, you're gonna you have fun doing it. But yeah, okay, that bit makes sense. Um, but yeah, I didn't I didn't expect us to be where we are. So, and I think as long as we keep doing things and going. Oh, didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. And being genuinely surprised and 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 pleased, then it's only going to get better, isn't it? Only going to get better. And yeah, as as uh, as Gib says, watch me on Twitch. Watch watch Gib on YouTube. Pilgrim, you stopped me going from going completely over the edge for the last few months. Thank you for all you do, mate. As I say, man, genuinely, as long as there's a nice space for people to come and hang out and have some company, because, you know, lockdowns and, and the pandemic's been been stressful for people, like, you know, some people just need just need a bit of company, some people to, to talk to, some people to be around, or even not even not even talk, just to have someone in the background chatting away, doing normal stuff, not like... A TV program. This is just listening to people talk. Like last night, last night we were talking about comedians, 
and Dougie Lampkin from Kickstart. And the night before, we were talking about Australian MasterChef and cookery and baking. And that's what it's about. It's just, just proper conversations that, you know, some people maybe haven't had for the last 18 months. And that's what that's what I've really enjoyed. That's what I've really enjoyed. And yeah, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Yeah. I think it's just sort of just probably sunk in to me to like sort of be like shit it is like a real thing this is a real thing like people enjoy this and people get something out of it and it, it just kind of hit me in there for a second i'm like oh shit yeah oh, that's good yeah i'm happy i'm very happy i'm glad i can do something for you guys that's the, that's the thing Only been a couple of times now, but usually busy at this time. But the channel seems very chill and appreciated already. Perfect, perfect team dubs. That's what we want. Just nice, chilled. What I'm happy with, touch wood, we don't get dickheads. <laughs> we, quite, we keep clear of dickheads, which is fantastic, right? You know, we've got a very, very simple rule in the Discord. If you're a dick, you're gone, right? Simple as that. And thankfully, no dickheads have turned up. <laughs> Just went, we sort of looked like rule one, don't be a dick. All right, foul. Oh, it's not for me then. Sorry. And away we go. All right. If you'll be a dick, go and be a dick on Facebook or somewhere else. All right. We don't need you. Um, and thankfully, people have done that. You know, and just went, oh, nope, not for me. Thank you. And, you know, and great. That's what we want. It's great. Had a rough time recently, health wise. We've got streams have been an escape. Catch up with the streams if I miss. Play around a golf with the better half. Uh, play around the golf the other back listen to the podcast nice see that's the thing i've got a feeling i may end up getting into golf at some point as well uh hugo mccardo welcome in first time first time in nice to see you hope you're well um welcome in. this is a this is a sampdoria save i'm not sure how long you've been in the stream so i uh, appreciate you, you you piping up and uh and saying hello for uh for your first time um this is sampdoria it's gonna be our beta save uh our main save is going to be the the danube challenge so uh, if you've not seen what that is we'll do a little bit of, uh, of admin here so danube challenge win the top league with uh a club from austria bulgaria hungary slovakia croatia serbia ukraine moldova and germany and germany we're going to do last because we want to manage sao Pauli. um so win the top league with all those nations of course we'll start in the second division or the third division will make it needlessly difficult for ourselves if we can win a european trophy that's fantastic that's of course the ultimate aim of that save if we win some international trophies with any of those nations that's amazing as well um and that's gonna be our save so hopefully it's gonna be pretty good and we're gonna try and avoid uh teams that are managed by racists we'll see we'll see how we get on um <laughs> you know uh just realized i haven't eaten anything yet because i've been focused on the beer and the stream bit <laughs> get some food get some food like we will still be here and if we're not here then we'll be with Sai Maggio. that's where we're going uh tonight we're going to raid into Sai Maggio because uh i kind of feel bad because we sacked off the fantasy football show tonight we were messaging going like what we're we gonna do we were all set for it and um, then he texts me going i think the beat is coming because he, he saw it before i saw it because we were putting the kids to bed uh and he's like what do you want to do and i was like well i'd already at that point i'd already tweeted out going Guess what we're doing at nine o'clock, lads. And then Dave, who does the fantasy football with us, said, Tony's doing football manager because he's already tweeted out and not responded to us. And I was like, yeah, we're not going to do it. And then uh, he was like, look, what shall I do? I, says, I said, if you're going to stream, stream. I said, you know, if you go late, then we'll raid into you afterwards. So that's what we'll do. So hang around here. We'll play for another, what, another sort of 20 minutes maybe or something. And we'll, uh, we'll get at least another game out. And then... Then we'll go and hang out and sit with Sai and see what Sai's up to. Um, and we'll also... We're back tomorrow. We're back tomorrow, of course we are. We, we're not going to... I think we're going to have the weekend, really. Makes sense, doesn't it? We might as well do some uh, some bits and bobs. And... We will... Actually, Candreva. Maybe keep Candreva rested for uh, for this one. Wilshire. Wilshire, 6.67. He's not doing too badly. He's almost convincing me. That he could he could get a contract, but I don't think he's quite Andy Carroll levels, to be honest. 
Um, she hadn't really noticed the time. Get us, I know, I'm sitting here like baffing away and I'm like, oh shit, it's 10 to 12. Um, but you know, we've done we've done well. We've done well, we've had a, a good time. I think the game looks I think the game looks good. I think we can all agree with that. I think um this save is just is just a dick about. By the way, as I say, we're doing daft signings like Andy Carroll. Um it's just a bit of fun. Uh was looking at some stuff away from the stream, wanted to echo the thoughts of how great the community is. Thank you, Rogi. Of course, man. And you know what? None of none of this, none of this is possible without my mods. Genuinely, they are fucking stars, okay? Um I didn't know any of them any of them before lockdown before the pandemic none of them okay and now there's not a night goes by where i'm not messaging rogi or or david or rich like jebaru they I'm just, you know what i mean it's been mint i've found a new bunch of mates as well and they, and they come in and then they do this out of the the goodness of their own heart to to mod the chat and to sort of like come up with ideas for saves and challenges and they, they mod the discord and they, they'll run over thumbnails for me like going actually you know move that over there and like well that's a good title um you know maybe change that font like we'll we'll review numbers for the stream like sort of going oh is that like did we have a good stream tonight do we have a bad stream tonight like they'll help promote it, they've been genuinely they've been they've been amazing for us and like i can't thank them enough either for um for helping get where we are so as i say even little things like jumping on stream like with no notice because we've done more streams recently i've just went right i'm just doing some more stuff like they're just they're just there all the time <laughs> You're going, all right jameson's online fine we'll jump in the chat and we'll sort it out and they do it without even being asked and it's just again they they help make this run so smooth so yeah, huge, huge thanks to them. Huge thanks to them. Um, yeah, so give give them. Uh, they're not they're not streamers. Well, David is. David's streaming now, um, but they're not they're not huge streamers. So, but give them a follow anyway. The big tower, the big tower. Um, imagine an FM meetup in the booze with a few pints. Well, we've we we have spoken about that. <laughs> possibly at some point so we'll see we'll see what what restrictions look like in the future that's nice just letting the ball bounce just letting the ball bounce turn around let the ball bounce he's got loads of space love yeah mm -hmm. yeah nice 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 need a straw for you no one we'll get you a straw we'll get you a straw feeny don't worry i'll get you a i'll get you the best straw um but yeah we've, oh, lovely It'd be a good laugh. Wonder why the middle place, what the middle place for everyone would be. And uh, I mean, no idea to be honest. We'll, we've we've spoken about a few possible ideas, so we will see. If something comes from it, it'll come, and we'll uh, we'll let people know. So uh, I've got access to the FM beater. It's time for the local club save. Yeah, you got to get it done. You got to get it done, Raoul. You've got to dig up the mods. Love them absolutely. Completely agree. Razio, top bunch of mods. Yeah, and you know what? And again. They're not, they're not heavy-handed. They don't need to be. There's nights where they're not needed at all. They're just sitting in the stream chilling. You know, the nights where we had the hate raids, they worked so hard, so hard those nights. Like firing messages to other streamers, going like, "I've made a list of the of the names. Get these guys blocked." Just above and beyond, absolute above and beyond. You know, I'm hoping it's going to be a big year for us. Um, we we all did, Alex. It was part like Twitter was getting um, was getting attacked uh, a few months ago now, to be honest. And um, but this is the thing that like, you guys you guys didn't see it because the mods were on top of it. <laughs> like they were uh, Almighty Two of the sub. Yes, my man, appreciate that. Thank you so much. Like for this being your first night in, genuinely appreciate the sub. Um, yeah, of course, Amazon Prime Gaming is free, by the way. So if you've got Amazon Prime, link it to Twitch. Costs you guys nothing. Uh, Bezos then puts his hand in his pocket I get a little bit of kickback um, any money we make goes into the stream makes the stream better we've just bought new lights we've got the DSLR camera set up now the microphone was bought by subs from the stream um, the light in the back the, the posh shirt the Azerbaijan shirt was bought by um, 
by uh, one of our, our viewers. So all those sorts of things go into it. So it does get put straight back in to make the experience better for everybody. Um, but yeah, what? what? Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so Rogi's uh, saying it there. People are spamming the Discord and the chat. Got to the point where the mods were being protected, proactive rather than reactive. Went across a few streams, banned all the culprits. Just really horrible shit. Really horrible shit. Like, it was all copied and pasted, so it just hit everything. And it hit every single channel of the Discords. And and then they were, like, hate raiding into the, like, sort of follow bots into the channel as well. So you'd get, like, 40 followers, 50 followers, but it would all be from the same bot, but, like, with a slightly different um, tag on the uh, on their username. And if you and if you clicked on it, it then picked up your IP address. So it was all it was really sophisticated stuff. But the mods were just knocking that out of the park. You guys didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> they were just like, "We've got it covered, don't worry." And I'm like, "This is the thing. Like, I'm sort of here streaming, keeping you guys entertained, without then sitting there going, "Oh shit, I've got all this happening." Like, they're just going, "We've got that. Don't worry. You you do your thing. If it gets if it gets too bad, we'll let you know." Like if something happens, we'll let you know. But other than that, it was just like you guys you guys didn't see it. And they were like just like so they did so much. And then like I said, then just letting other streamers know and tweeting about it and yeah, that was that's the thing, and that's when you know you're in a community. That's when you know you're in a community when everyone's looking out for everyone else. The mods are the heroes, absolutely. Well, without them, it's just like, it can be carnage. <laughs> you know, it can be absolute carnage. Like, as I say, thankfully, we've got we've got a good chat here. I've not even had to, and it, this is how good the chat is, right? This is how good the chat is in this in this stream. Tonight, and Inky knows that we've done this, so it's, so it's not like a, like we're not uh, pissing on, shitting on Inky or a, Charlie Fossil, appreciate the, uh, appreciate the follow very kindly, thank you, right? FMB to save tonight. We we made this. Okay, we made a command especially. Oh, sorry, I made a command especially for this. I was expecting this all night. Right. This question. No, I'm not checking how much money Newcastle start with. Right. We were expecting that all night. We we're expecting that because we watched the announcement that Miles did the other night. We watched the stream that Football Manager did the other night. All the chat was how much has Newcastle got? How much has Newcastle got? How much has Newcastle got? We have not had it at all tonight, and I genuinely feel, I genuinely feel, that like, why did I not just trust my own chat? Like, of course you guys were going to be cool. Like, like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. I should have just trusted it. I should have just trusted. It. I, I, we don't. We don't get. We don't get dickheads. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, for some for some people they're they're all for it. Other people, for me, it's, I, I'm not not fussed. Um, but yeah, because we didn't know who was who was coming in the, in the stream tonight. I was like, right, I'll have it just in case. Haven't had to do it. We haven't had to do it at all. Charlie Fossil Galazzo, yes. <laughs> you love the YouTube. The, you, oh, hey, you uh, you checked out the YouTube journey. Excellent. That was um, that was good fun actually. The uh, the Belarus say. I, I genuinely appreciate you being in though, Charlie man. It means a lot. Um, yeah, the Belarus save was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We're doing something a little bit different this year. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. We're doing the uh, we're doing the Danube challenge. So it's uh, it's similar enough, but it's a little bit little bit different. Um, we're going to do that so we're going to go and travel around we're going to win win the uh, the top league in, in all those nations there um 
and uh, the Brinchuk Ultras. Oh, Brinchuk was a player, wasn't he? Oh, oh, what a player he was. And then, and uh, and Anis, Anis as well from uh, for Bursa Sport. Oh, he was he was brilliant. He was brilliant. Um, they get a better get upgraded. The flares on twenty two. Yes, yes. All about the flares. Big up the flares. Um, not not to be mistaken with the flares that people walk around with now, and you're going, oh dear, terrible, terrible nineties fashion. Um, that got me hooked on lower league Eastern European journeys. Yeah, pie, tea of onion barges, scotch eggs and cheese is the best I'm going to get up to. <laughs> Party teas, man. Yeah, I'm for that. I'm I'm in, I'm in I'm on board for it. We need more flares or higher graphics. Yeah, well, we, we we don't we don't know we don't know we haven't we haven't managed in those nations yet. There might be there might well be flares. It might all might be exceptional. It's all about flares nightclub. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, I'd say what there's a pandemic of two started in those places as well. I tell you. Um, for anyone who's, who's remotely interested by the way, we have got our centre backs on wide. We've got them on attack. Keep your eyes out for them and just watch the movement patterns. It's um it's a thing of beauty. It genuinely is a thing of beauty. Um, so many players, so many teams are going to get caught out with this because it's just, it's just too good. Um, particularly in PvP as well, that's going to be, um, that's definitely going to be a thing. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get some. Uh, We'll get some logos done. Oh, terrible miss. He did a save with uh, Dianova in Lithuania. The chairman was dodges anything. Okay, in, in what sense? Because I know that, that in Belarus, when you um, when you start the save, half of the teams in the league have had points docked for match fixing, <laughs> which is a, <laughs> which is a great start to the season. Like literally, half of the teams in the league are all like. On minus points. Um, Tony, God bless. I'm off. I'm going to point tomorrow for the arms. Tech, really, really, where can I text you for an update? Generally, another smiley on my face. Mate, like, we're here every single night. Like, nine o'clock, we'll be back in tomorrow night. Join in the Discord if you're not already there. Um, and, then and then you can obviously keep up to date with all the save and everything. So that's the best place to do it. I don't know if you can access Discord via your nose or <laughs> talk, text her. Uh, text to talk or whatever but yeah you can get in man absolutely get in there and uh come and come and hang out with us let's see i hope your appointment's good as well tomorrow i hope you get you get fixed up so um it'll be a pleasure to see you tomorrow night definitely think we need a wee discord versus tournament when the game comes out inky it's we, we've already got it we've already got it planned we've already got it planned don't worry we've got it planned we've got if you in the Discord, we've got TJ versus the community. It's already there. It's already there. <laughs> you know, we had it in FM21. We know that it's going to be a thing in FM22. So, again, part of the reason we can't commit to, to too many projects is we've got some of the stuff lined up that's not coming out just yet. So, um, oh, we'll, um, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We're looking forward to it. TJ versus the community is a lot of fun. It's a great night. It's a really great night. Uh, Dan, you save sounds mental. What a new idea. May I try it myself. Do it, man. Do it, and uh, let us know how you get on. Or if not, let us know what your uh, what your save idea is. Hopefully, FM twenty one skins work for FM twenty two. Um, I don't know. Oof. Just in Cliver. Nice. Uh, I don't know, Raul. Actually, that's a good that's a good question. Um, it depends upon whether the layouts are set the same. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm debating starting Twitch for FM. Do it. Do it, man. Like, genuinely, now's the right time to do it. Now's the right time to do it. Um, just have a go. If you like it, great. If you don't, don't bother. Um, use, use things like the... Um, so what, try it with the uh, with the monthly challenge, or I mean, you know, your save's gonna be popular enough anyway. 
Ang yeah, anxiety, I get that. I get the anxiety bit. Do it without the camera. Yeah, do it out do it the camera. Like, people do it. Do it cameraless. That's cool. Or just make or make the image really small. If you if you you know, concerned about that, but I think it's um I think it's one of those things. I felt more anxious doing YouTube than I did doing Twitch. Because I know that I'm searchable on YouTube. Twitch, there's no searchability really. Once the stream's done, it's only there for a couple of weeks. Um whereas YouTube, if you search Tony Jameson, which more people will do, I'll be going, Oh, you know, there's gonna be like you football manager videos and that and they're gonna find that and, and I and I don't know. I don't know what it was. I got more stressed out by that than than coming on Twitch. I was like, Well yeah, I'm here. Like, I do Twitch, that's that's what I'll do. Don't know why. Don't know why. Maybe because Twitch just feels a bit more natural than YouTube. I don't know. Good luck anyone understanding my accent. That's what subtitles are for. That's what subtitles are for. <laughs> Amazing on Twitch. It's better live. I think so. I think so, Charlie. I think so. I think it's more me. I think um I think you get the instant reaction. That's a hell of a Rabona. Nicely taken down. Oh, I, I almost wanted that to be a goal. Um, yeah, I think you get the instant reaction. Um, you get this chat, and you get you get me being me rather than hello, I'm Tony Jameson talking about football manager in my slightly more sat up structured way. Um, it's not really me. It's not really me. Um, chicken, welcome in. Appreciate the follow. Very kind to see you here. You feel part of the save too? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, like Charlie, like the, the the Peterborough save that we've we've had going on. We'll, we're streaming that next week, by the way, for the um, what a ball that is uh, to finish off season ten, and like some of the uh, some of the some of the moments we've had on that save have been unbelievable, unbelievable. Like so many. Like we're now looking at our fourth um, last day of the season relegation battle survival mission. That's like. <laughs> You know, we've got that, and then hopefully winning the World Cup with Holland in the same save. So that's where we're at. We've got players who we've made heroes of and, and made characters of. We've, you know, pretended we didn't have a managerial job in certain areas because we've given up on it. Great save. Um, but yeah, it's just fun. It's just fun. And I was looking forward to streaming that tonight. And then when this came out instead, it was like, let's jump on. Let's have a little bit of a look, shall we? Um, and yeah oh I think this has been a lot I think this has been great genuinely appreciate all the new people who've come in by the way obviously our regulars as well lots and lots of love and all the new people welcome welcome to the team hope to see you more regularly the evening chicken how are you man or lady, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's uh, very presumptuous of me. And it cancelled for gender gender uh, gender guessing. Game is looking solid, tactics are working nicely. Yeah, they're looking alright. Look at that, puts his foot on the ball, changes his body shape. Lovely pass outside. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um Abbreviate flicks one that. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you've got uh, Groningen and uh and uh, and Leipzig. Did they fix the goal score of flashing his Sunday morning or not? Uh, you know what? I've not checked actually. That's a good point. I've not checked about that. Um the Sampdoria kit's amazing, isn't it? We're gonna bring the the 92 days back. Mm-hmm. That's the plan. That is the plan. Um that's a Harry Potter reference. I, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> I think Mrs. J is probably shouting downstairs going, of course you didn't get it. <laughs> uh, just a Casper Schmeichel's testimonial game when he's still on holiday and not returned for pre-season. <laughs> True FM. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. There you go. See, I told you. I told you, Alex. I told you Mrs. J would be straight over it. Um, right. Do we play the Groningen game? Right. Let, let me go to the toilet very quickly. Um, but you know what? No, right. Let's right. Let's let's go and go and shout over to uh, to Sai, shall we? Should we do that? Or do you want one more match? 
let's do one more match because we might we might technically win a trophy if we win this this game. But let me go to the toilet first. Oh no, old man Jameson's back. Quick, no more fun, no more fun. Is it blasphemy to mention FIFA? No, not at all. Not at all. You can mention FIFA in here. You can mention other games. You can mention other girlfriends. You know, <laughs> whatever. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, we're not. We're not. Uh, we're not. We're not that strict down here. Like FM chat or no chat. Thank you very much. You can only talk about what what Tony talks about. Nah, anything goes. We can't talk about Newcastle, though. I think he's right. We can't talk about that. Right, let's let's win our first trophy, shall we? It's the Friendly Cup trophy, um, which I'm sure you all you all know is the is the big one. Big Andy Carroll might miss it. He might miss our first our first uh, chance at silverware. Everyone's knackered. Everyone is knackered. <laughs> We've ran them into the ground. Wilshire at left wing back. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, right, let's go with it. It'll be. We'll. We'll. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, good job. This to be a save and not a main save. Someone's going to cost ten million quid. Ooh, don't know about that. Don't know about that. Can you get Pal Uker as a goalkeeping coach? <gasps> I would love that, Charlie. I would love that. Not only because of the fact he's Pal Yuka, but also because of the fact that he's a Villa fan. I would genuinely be all over that. All over that. Oh, that's a nice... I don't care if this is pre-season, winning is a habit. There are uh, there are some new things. Look for you to give us an edge and attack. Pick up where the season starts. Yes, yeah, so there's a few little sort of new, new bits of text and stuff in it as well, which would be nice. All the cool people of our fans. You're right, Alex. Absolutely, absolutely. Me and you, we've got this. We've got this. First time viewer, sport mad. Welcome in. First time chat. Loving the Sunderland top. My first title. First time on your stream. I see that top was a season card holder for the Red and White Wizards. I'll be here again. However, lads, mate, you should have been here in March when we started a stream. Sunderland till I cry. Okay. Um. We've got a Discord challenge on, which finishes tomorrow, which is repeating the start of the stream. Um, I managed six months at Sunderland, got sacked uh, for underachievement. This this shirt, I bought, I bought the shirt and thought, oh, that'll be quite good. I'll hang it up. It turned it turned up the day I got sacked. So we opened it on stream and then got sacked a couple of hours later. I was like, oh, for God's sake! Like, just the club are cursed. The club are cursed, right? 
then we got then we got the job at Peterborough. We got the job at Peterborough, hence why we now got the Peterborough shirt. But we've been there for ten years. That's why we've got the Peterborough shirt. It wasn't there wasn't a plan to buy another shirt. Um, that save is meant to be finished tonight or Sunday. It's now going to have to be finished next week because uh, obviously we'll, we'll do Sam Dory for a little bit for for FM twenty two. Um, we also at a point. Uh, took charge of Azerbaijan, as you can see there, um, and one of our um, one of our one of our uh, one of our subscribers said when we took the Azerbaijan job, he said they're selling shirts for thirty quid, and I said, well, if we can get thirty quid's worth of subs that night on the stream, I'll buy the Azerbaijan shirt. So he gifted thirty quid's worth of subs there and then. I was like, right, we've got to do it. We've got to do it. So. So that's why I've got the Azerbaijan shirt hanging up. Um, so for the next stream, we uh, we're going to be having um, the talk shirt hanging up in the background, which is for the um, the suicide prevention, uh, the one that they're doing in Scotland. So that's going to be hanging up. We've got that on order coming. Um, Taff eighty three, how's the game? The game is nice, man. Really, really nice. It's um, really smooth. Wide centre backs on attack look lovely with the overlapping centre backs. Animations are, are good. The game plays better. Um, oh, like wayward passes are nice. It, it really, like just really get excited about wayward passes. Um, tactically, it's good. I think um, we're literally just scrape. We're just literally putting our head under the under the bonnet for a bit. For a beat now, four hours in, no real bugs. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't complain at all. Inky, right? Like it feels. It feels more polished than the FM21 beta did, to be honest. Um, nothing seems drastically overpowered at this point. Um, I'm still conceding goals the same way I was in FM21. <laughs> uh, Sports Mad, appreciate the follow, buddy. Very kind. How are the lads indeed? Um... Was it a surname for again? I've just, I've just turned my head straight. <laughs> Imagine getting all the shirts and the Danube challenge. Going to be tricky, not impossible, not impossible. Tricky, yes. Um, ooh, better than FM Twenty One, in my opinion. At this stage, absolutely, absolutely. Um, they, in terms, if I was comparing the FM Twenty One beta. To the um, no full name, full name. Um, if I'm comparing the uh, the beta of FM21 to FM22, FM22's beta is better. A um, couple of small things I saw, nothing major. Super impressed with the ball physics and the deflections. Yeah, I'm, that's one of the things I'm picking up. The ball physics are really, really good, really good. There's like little bits where it's like. As I said, like it hits a post and it spins the way that it's supposed to, or like you trap the ball and it bounces a certain way. There was a little bit where the ball's sort of popped up, um, which yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying, really enjoying. Um, I think we need to do a bit better. Actually, we're not playing particularly brilliantly. Um, go a bit wider. Stay our feet. Press a little bit more. We can press for a bit now. Um, the interesting thing as well is that the um, it's looking at the I mean we're, we're knackered this is, this is like a little pre-season tournament playing um, so all of our players are done in uh, full name C Miles said he didn't know if it would be fixed the bigger they see so much this year like yeah I mean the, the, so we've had a guy in the chat um, more urgent will drain stamina yeah I know I know um, what we've um, we had a guy in the chat earlier who is a researcher for FM and he's been playing it for a while and um, he's even said that like this is a this is a step up <laughs> like from from what it was uh, when he was playing it so so that'll be that'll be interesting to uh, to see how it goes um, go check in who's real for story yeah do that man absolutely do it that'll be cool uh, Sunny Leon, appreciate the follow, very kind indeed, thank you. Uh, copy the logo, packs in, nice. 
what leagues are licensed. Um, I'm not sure actually. You get that on the startup screen, so I'll have to I'll have to redo it and um, and, and get it going again. Um, Almighty Two, I was at their office a few years ago for a job interview. A friend of mine works for Sega. Nice man. Nice. Is and is that what you're is that what you're doing now? Are you still still in there or in that sort of games world? Hanks with the turn. Yeah, see that. Like, see, he's tired, so the pass was just like was so slow and too short. Um, heard the nerd with the raid. Welcome in, raiders. How are yous? Nice to see everybody. Herb, how are you, man? Pleasure. I haven't seen you for a little while. Hope uh, life's treating you well. How was your stream? Did you have fun? Um, have you been playing FM22 like the rest of us? Um, if so, who's your team? Who are you uh, who are you managing? I, uh, I'm not seeing you around for a while. The last time I saw you, I think you were doing um, you're doing the, the MK Moneyball, which uh, thoroughly enjoyed. If you're not following her, the nerd, by the way, guys, get yourselves a follow. Um, you should do that. He's one he's one of the good guys in the uh, in the community. Great streamer, lovely community. So, and again, my chat, Herb's chat, Herb's chat, my chat. Welcome in, everyone. Say hello. Um, we're doing Sampdoria for the beta. Two weeks worth of uh, of Sampdoria. We were expecting to manage Peterborough for our FM twenty one save tonight, so this was a bit of a surprise. Um, and we signed Andy Carroll, so that's also a surprise to nobody, really, <laughs> to nobody. <laughs> obviously, obviously for me that made total sense. Uh, sweet Andy Carroll ninety nine, and we've got Jack Wilshire on trial as well. Um, this is just um I'm not particularly fussed about the uh about the the score here. This is purely a um a preseason friendly tournament which would have been nice to have won, but you know, we don't need it. We don't need it because obviously Andy Carroll's not there to pick up his medal. So never mind. Uh Dave Clatson, appreciate the follow. Uh WePube, appreciate the follow. Um lots more, lots more things here. So much more. Right, you're letting yourselves down. This isn't good enough. What was that? Get your act together. Start playing like favourites were meant to be. This hasn't been good enough. Make sure you, when you come back in here at full time, it's with a win. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Oh, 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 oh. that's the one we need. That's the one we need. Okay, that's the that's the one that is going to be played out in my stream forever. I think I get the feeling that this is just going to be slapped on my head constantly. I'm just popping it in the Discord for uh, for our guys there. Um, we didn't use these matches to set tones. Friendly match or not, that sort of performance is not acceptable. Disappointed have so little possession. We're in the position we deserve to be, and the numbers prove it. Uh, I like what I'm seeing. This is pre-season. We're better than this, and we know it. Keep going. We can win this if we work hard. Favourites or not, we have to play the matches that's unfolded. We can rescue a draw. We've been unlucky. I don't know how we're not winning. Right, I'm going with the I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Friendly or not, this is unacceptable. Got them. Go full hungry. 1964 mode. Five up front. Look, Charlie, you you are not you are not sure what we can do, right? In FM 22, 21, we had a four Trequatista formation. Okay, four Trequatistas we played. It was it had mixed results. I'll be honest, mixed results. But we played with four Trequatistas, so we can we can come up with some daft ideas i mean this this formation in itself is pretty out there uh two wide center backs on attack ofs uh libero wide midfielders fairly standard midfield to us wide midfielders mazala deep line playmaker trequatista target man and poacher up top so but slightly off slightly off um obviously as well from a, a slight asymmetric issue um but yeah apart from that all good um but uh sorry Herb, so you're saying you're doing a, a thing with, with Curti? Is that like a, a network save, is it? Or Or is it a is it a two man thing? It's indeed Oh I'm right. When when do you do it? Because I'll I'll be checking in on that. Absolutely I'll be checking on that. That works for me.
Uh, right, let's do that there. Feel as I'm switching too much, but at the same time, might as well switch it because why the devil not? Candreva is asking for full inside forward mode. Inside forward, do you reckon, Candreva? But not there. Move him inside forward. I can do that. That sounds fun to me. What I'll do is I'll put my trek there. Right. Uh, and I might even, I might even, right, just just for fun, might even make uh, a Segundo Volante or a Regista possibly. Let's put the Regista there. Yeah. Wide centre backs, you hipster. Like, to be honest, this is not how I play all Herb. Like, I am 4 4 2. Um, <laughs> counter attack direct. <laughs> right. Like, I'll play three centre backs this year. I'll play five at the back, but I am not a wide centre back guy. Um, but I figured it's the beater, and we'll just dick about. And, we'll, and every, everybody, everybody wants to see it. Everyone wants to see the wide centre backs. They want to see the overlapping. Like the animation is smooth. It's so lovely. Um, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I think for the main save four four two, I reckon. <laughs> I mean, with to be honest, with, with Peterborough we played with the diamond, and that was that was pretty interesting. And then we got a we, we got we got a system we called posh ball, which is wild to say to say the least. Um, four four two, come on now! Look, 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 if we're going down, we're going down properly, right? We don't need to be mucking about with. You know, we're four 0 down. Nothing's going to happen now. So, bring out the Mike Bassett. Well, we're going to we'll do that for the league. We'll do that for the league. We've got a um, we've got a Catanacho system lined up as well. So, um, so we'll do that. I've got a host K N N T H A six. Appreciate that. Welcome in, welcome in everybody. Hope everyone's nice and well. Um, ignore the score on the screen. The score doesn't really matter. It's the end of a end of a friendly tournament. Um, four 0 looks pretty bad, and we've played pretty bad as well. But that's because everyone's knackered, really. So, um, rotation of the squad seems really, really, um, really important this year. Like even more than last year. So, if anyone's got any little takeaway from tonight, that's it. Is is really rotate your squad. Two games back to back is going to be hard for players. It's going to burn them out. Three games in short succession. Not going to happen. Three defenders go for the same header. I like that. Everyone just, just diving on it. Yes. Yes. Um, get players with good stamina. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, we, we've not we've not touched training at all. We've just left it as, as default. Um, we've not added any coaches and backroom staff we've just basically opened the box and and just went what what's inside you know we 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 just played played as we've seen it um we're not doing we're not doing gegenpress. press we're not doing 4231 we're literally just going to try some different stuff see what's what have a bit of fun um Sam Dora great save idea would like to see it go further you know if if it's working and it's good, we might stick with it. Um, we might stick with it. I guess we'll just I guess we'll just see. Really, to be honest, um, maybe we'll have it as a, as a little backup save. So we'll see how we get on. But four one at the minute is is not really ideal. I don't think. We're gonna see less urgent. Yeah, I think so. I think I think what you're gonna find is particularly on PvP and Herb, if you're still here, you might be able to either back me up or shoot me down on this. I think what you'll see with PvP is teams playing in spurts. So people will be more happy to sit back. I think they'll they'll try and come out the blocks quick. 
try and get a goal early doors, sit back for a little bit, then press a bit more, sit back for a bit, then press a bit more. And I think that's going to be your battle as working out when when to press and when to push. Um, because of the fact you can see with those metrics of the of the, of the match press um, and sort of see who's see when you were on top I think that's going to be a huge thing particularly in PvP I think personally yeah lots of tactic flicking absolutely changing of shapes uh, do it very fluidly I think um, I'm not I'm not fussed about the fact that we'll have um more i just think i think people take more risks and try different things i think they'll have i think people have like a, a low block tactic they'll have a, a dynamic tactic and i think they'll have a um a, an offensive tactic and and i think that as jonathan says there press at the right time press at the right place that's going to be the thing so you're going to look for players who are versatile in multiple positions I think younger players are going to be trained to play multiple positions a lot so that you can drop from you know your wide midfielders to fullbacks pretty quickly personally i think defensive defensive wingers might be might be pretty good this year wayward passes oh it's beautiful it's beautiful like, I don't care, it's my team. I like it. I like the fact that it's wayward passes. I mean, we've lost terribly there. We've lost awful. Uh, we weren't good enough. I don't have the words to express how angry that makes me. I, I can't speak Italian, so in that in that environment, probably probably the most accurate one, really. Um, when the real fixtures start, I want to see a, massive, a significant improvement. We weren't good enough, simple as that proud of your efforts games like this aren't about the results the result was important sometimes results go our way no no we need to it was embarrassing and absolutely shameful um that needs to be done there um mamma mia basta losing people <laughs> uh defeat in the friendly cup final oh dear and there you go i'm already kicking off letting people know just how i feel about it so Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be playing 4 4 F in 2. Yes. For Allison up front. Calcio. I mean, these are the sorts of um these are the sorts of things that we've got lined up, right? So that's our sort of our our positive tactic we think. So again, if we're talking about dynamic tactics, offensive tactics, and defensive tactics, I think this is our our dynamic positive tactic. Um I think this is our defensive tactic. We've got a um a, a low block uh, Catanacho uh, Rich Owens how the devil are you buddy welcome here my man we are currently uh, doing some Sampdoria um, hope you're well hope uh, everything is good how was your stream how was, how was Sheffield Wednesday Alisson would be a great central midfielder quite possibly actually Alisson up front um, let's see which Allison? Which Allison? Which Allison? Which Allison are we talking about? Sorry, have I have I missed something? Which Allison? Sorry, sitting back and counter attacking. Yeah, so that's our cat and actual. Um, again with a libero, uh, anchor man, which will probably become a regista. Let's face it. Um, and then there we go. That's our crazy three. Two, three, two, two, possibly crazy, weirdy, wildy. Uh, let's see what happens. Play around with some fun um, madness tactic. So we've got all those. That's what we might have a bit of a play around with. So that's the spag ball formation. <laughs> oh, that's going to put Alison up front for Liverpool. Oh, got you. Sorry, my mistake. Dory, <laughs> Dory. Uh, that's giving me a headache, mate. Inky, I've got. I've got a. Um, I'll send you it for the FM twenty one. I've got it's a tactic for breaking, right? It's just the movement patterns are brilliant. The actual formation itself is fucking nuts. Like it doesn't make any sense, and it's it's not guaranteed to do well. Of course, it's not. It's one of my tactics, um, but it's just 
fun. Like there's genuinely some lovely bits of movement in it that if you have the right players, it could potentially work. It's technically a one centre back tactic, which might leave you with two defenders ish. Um because you've got an in inverted fullback who jumps in to essentially become part of a three in the midfield. I don't know. It's it, there's just too much. There's just too much going on for it. Um, Gitos, we'll have to catch up tomorrow's stream. Taking the boy to an actual game at the New York Stadium. Oh, are they York playing tomorrow? Are they awesome. Who have they got? Because um, and we're you know we we that's where we are. So we 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 uh, we start taking our boys as well at some point. So um, definitely send me it. Fancy a bit of a mess about with it. Yeah, gotta be done, man. Gotta be done. Gotta be done. We'll um, yeah we'll, we'll we'll ping that through. You can play around with it. Have a little look. Uh, I'd say what, right? Palmer, first match of Serie A. We'll do that. We'll do the first match of Serie A tonight, okay? Howler's defenders. Remember Musashio at Villarreal. He's um, he's actually still only 30, so he's pretty good. Um, Leeds under 23 is nice. Um, I mean, if if the same thing works, this is what it looks like then. Right. Oh, no, I don't want to keep it. Yeah, we'll 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 load, we'll load up tomorrow. If all the tactics are still the same, we'll we'll pop it in and you can see it in all of its dirty, dirty glory, dirty glory. Um, but yeah, Rich, the apologies, mate, for uh, for obviously not not seeing what was going on. But um, welcome across, by the way. So awesome to have you in. Um, we've just been dicking about, really, um, and I think the best thing that we have to do is show you this. Um, this is kind of our our achievement tonight, really. Uh, have you seen the new tactics analysis tab? That's what we need to check. That's what we need to check. That's what we need to check. Um, we're all going to win the UCL and defeat PSG one day. Stamina of twelve, strength of eighteen, acceleration of nine. Sweet Arrow ninety and um, Andy ninety nine. This bit here. That's what we need to see. Um, yes. We'll play about with this a little bit more, a little bit more tomorrow night. I think. Um, get used to that. Carol is already in trouble with the mafia. I <laughs> like it. Make sure to click on certain sections of the pitch. So yeah, there. Nice. Okay. Lovely. We'll play with this. We'll play this tomorrow. Um, we've got wide centre backs, Rich. You can't see, it, but I'm giving you a literal standing ovation, mate. I can, I can feel it. I can feel it. Genuinely, I feel it. This bit though, this bit. Look at this momentum. Apparently, we apparently we were great in the second half. I thought we were dog shit throughout the entire match. To be honest, hammered in the first half. Absolutely hammered. Um, deserved to be to be four 0 down at half time. Um, and then this is the passing networks, which are, which I really like. I really like. Shows you just how well your combinations are working. Um, it was Kondreva that was further up. Yeah. Don't know what he's doing all the way up there to be honest but as you know it's not it's um it's a it's, it's muru muru who gets all the way up the top here so he's up out there and then we're playing little one twos with terra Grossa. um so yeah quite nice patterns there you can work out sort of how that's uh successful and, or, or not successful to be honest and uh, show you sort of um sort of a lot a lot going on a lot going on so using comprehensive highlights now I, I always use comprehensive i think i'm on comprehensive at the very least yeah I'm, um keeper doesn't like the left side at all no he doesn't actually i need to move that i think because of the fact that he's got um he's got Kandreva on the right i presume is why he's um choosing to go to the right more but maybe we need to need to work that out a little bit i think They've got the finances wrong. There's no public money in FM. Oh, okay. I mean, Simeonovic has been okay, but 27, 12 for acceleration. Now, do we go for him or do we go for Mangala? Because Mangala has been good as well. Mangala's probably been better, really, if we're honest. He's obviously going to cost more money as well, that's the issue. 
16 grand. That's not bad. Plus, I think Simulovich might class as non EU, maybe. Not sure. We've got Nigel de Jong as well. We haven't even attempted to put him in and try him. Jack Wilshire, we had. I, I don't think. I don't really think we'll, we'll, we'll sign Jack Wilshire, maybe. Uh, Wilson is still on a beast on the game because he'll be used a lot in draft. Yeah, probably. Probably. Dam's got to get a new deal. Um, I think, um, yeah, so here we go. Palmer at home. This is our first first match of uh, of Serie A as part of the uh, the Sampdoria challenge. I mean, I, I don't look like that. I don't look like that at all. Um, I've imported your posh diamond at 22 fans. It's class on 22, so using it now with a few tweaks. Nice. There we go. Who'd have thought posh ball? Well, I mean, Who'd have thought posh ball would would still work? In fact, who'd have thought posh ball would work? Then mine still work, <laughs> you know. Uh, right, let's see then. So, possibly put Dam's guard there. No, I think maybe playing behind Kondreva. Let's do that. That might work. And then let's have a look at. There we go. Right, we'll regroup. Although we are at home, so we might have to. But you know what? Let's not let's not change it. Let let's stay as it is, right? You know, gonna become the Mourinho. Crack on with Sam Dora tomorrow. Yeah, like I said, like, let let us know how you get on with it, Inky man. Like it's um. I think I think it's going to be fun. I genuinely think it's going to be fun. Um, anyone clock the Ted Lasso Easter egg on the opening screen? Yes, <laughs> yes, I have. It's a nice little touch in it. It's a lovely little touch. Um, and anyone who's not clocked it, don't, 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 don't tell them. Don't tell them. Uh, this isn't. Pre oh, this is a friendly still. Oh no. Really, some of that Tat Channel Four music. <laughs> It turns out it's still a friendly. Thought we were going to be playing um, been our first league game. Oh. It's no good, is it? It's no good. Palmer got relegated. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Uh, Of course they did, of course they did. Unfortunately, the clubs I support the most both got relegated last season. I mean, I'm not... Yeah, that, that, it's not, that's not fair at all, is it, to be honest? Looks like pre-season done today, league starts tomorrow. That's good, we can do that, we can do that. We've had some bounce of Cagliarella, which we've, which we've enjoyed. Good save. Spot James Richardson in the stands. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got a little he's got a little espresso as well and a and a biscotti. Which I can't say in my accent at all, by the way. And then for some reason Gaza turns up just to do to do a skit. Or Paul Ince, maybe. It's all about the limoncello. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's, a class, he's a classy man. He's a classy man, James Richardson. You know, not like me. I'd be sat there eating a the Kit Kat, Amaretto biscuits. Yeah. Um, as I say, if you are new to the stream, um, welcome in. Um, we are here usually every Wednesday and Sunday. We're going to be doing some more, though. Um, during the course of FM22, obviously we're going to probably go three times a week. Um, this is the challenge we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing uh, the Danube. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Boom, boom. Introducing speech 
I don't know. I've missed it. I've missed it. I've missed my opportunity. Balls it up. I had, uh, I had Gazette football loaded up. Never mind. Never mind. And now, and now I'm slowing everything down. Stubo, yes, mate. How are you? Welcome in. Um, hope you're well. First time chat. It is. Welcome, Stubo. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's give you a, a wee shout out there. Come on, come on, Stream Deck. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Right, guys, go and give Stubo a follow. By the way, if you're not doing that, you do need to do it. One of the uh, absolutely top bloke. Uh, great streamer. Aston Villa fan as well. So that also helps. So Alex, I'm expecting you to hit that button straight away. Um, were you streaming tonight, Stubo, or were you just uh, are you just hanging out, keeping your eyes out on uh, FM22? Um, well done, by the way, for everything you've done with Villa on FM21. Genuinely enjoyed your streams as well. They've been really, really great to watch. Really great to watch. So appreciate you having me having it here for a bit. Yeah. Is Buffon at Palmer? He will be. He will be. Absolutely will be. Oh, it's nice. I've been at work. Completely missed the beer launch. It's all gone well today. Oh, mate. No, no. It's um, it's it's been great. We were we were expecting to do Peterborough tonight and finish the season because like we are hoping to finish the season this weekend. It's not going well. It's not going well. <laughs> um, and then obviously the beta dropped. We were like, we're going to have to go and do do this really quickly. So, um, yeah, so we jumped straight on. And, uh, yeah, we started the beta challenge, which is, is Sampdoria. So it's, it's part of our Discord challenge. So anyone who's not in the Discord, get yourselves involved. Um, and, and come and hang out. It's a good place to hang out, you know. You know, stamina drops quicker now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which, to be honest, I think, yeah, makes sense. Again, it's gonna it's gonna tie in with that whole thing of you're gonna have to rotate your squad a lot, a lot of squad rotation. Um, otherwise, it's just it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, Guardiola roulette, absolutely. Like. You're gonna to have to tell players you're you're an important first team player, which means you will play one in three matches, maybe. <laughs> like, excuse me, the idea of like a player playing all of his games is not gonna happen this year at all. As I say, we've not we've not really touched training or anything, so it may well change dramatically. Bring the youth players through, absolutely. Sign everyone on a squad player. Good effort, good effort. Natural fitness and stamina main priority. Yeah, a work rate. But yeah, I think a lot of versatility for players. Any Serie B wonder kids, we haven't even we haven't even looked yet. We haven't even looked. Um there will be some and we'll we'll get we'll get properly into it the, the, the wayward passes that's the i'm loving it I'm loving it if you if you watch closely as well you'll see we've got wide center backs on attack so you get the so we're having our first look at at overlapping center backs it just it just works really nicely it's really good it's really good like for a beater this is streets ahead of fm21's beater Streets ahead. The new animations are smooth. Players turn with their bodies. Get it up here, Palmer. You know, we've signed one injured English lad. We're now looking for players from the league below. Couldn't be any more peak 90s Italian football if we tried 
Caputo, you beautiful bastard. Absolutely. Absolutely. What a great goal. Great goal. Uh, if that FM21 training works from Matty Aqua, we'll put that straight in. We'll put that straight in. Um, yeah, In Inky is in the Discord, isn't he? Uh, New Italiano Bassett. I've gone with uh, with uh, Tony James Serini. I was going to say, <laughs> it's all right. Don't worry. You've had, you've had a long day, Rogi. You've had a long day, you know. Then let's say then we, then we drop this on your last minute to go like <laughs> 22's going we're going live <laughs> when did the day by day calendar bit come off come into FM day by day uh, yeah it's been there for a while hasn't it or, or am I thinking of something different yeah look, look at the body shapes look at the shapes when they change and they move things around and looking for space looking for, for runners Running into space, oh, <laughs> driving into the space there and finishing it off. Yeah, it's been it's been a couple of years. It's been a couple of years. It's been in there. I'm not I'm not great at training, so I'm not like an expert or anything. But um, not gonna lie, I prefer how it used to be. Hard to adapt to. Yeah, actually stopping dribbling now. Yeah, they're too tired. They're too tired. So at this point, regroup, slow your tempo right down. You know, there's no point knackering them anymore. Oof. Over the top. Dribble less, yeah. Balanced. Dribble less. Just move the ball around. That's obviously all about retaining, saving energy. It's, it's very, very immersive. Very, very immersive. Um... The formation, I quite like this formation. This is, this is an eyesore, but I quite like it. I think this might, might have something. Um, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to this save, and I can't wait for a bit more of it tomorrow. Um, yeah, the Tinker manager is in, and you know what? I think that makes sense as well. Sampdoria, obviously they've lost. Ran they've lost Ranieri. Was the Tinker man? I'm known as the Tinker man. I come in. I can't. I just keep clicking too much. So. Yeah, this could be. I'm enjoying this. This is gonna be all right. This is gonna be all right. So, um, if you haven't already done so, drop a follow um, to remind yourselves when we're gonna go live next. It's gonna be um, spoiler alert. It's gonna be tomorrow. Um, so, make sure you come and do that. Um, let's find someone to raid into. I hope Sai is still on because I did say I'd, uh, I'd raid into him. He's got a mystery shirt beater looking for his main save so that's gonna be quite fun so again go give him some support give him a lot of love uh, we love Sai so again we were supposed to be doing um, fantasy football and um, unfortunately uh, this happened so so no uh, no fantasy football for Sai unfortunately so here we go um, as I say thank you so much for being here again as always we'll see see you all on we'll see you all tomorrow we'll see you all tomorrow right and we'll catch you all in a bit. Tony, how is it going? Welcome in. How did you get on in the end? Rich, welcome in as well. I should give Rich a, sh a shout out. Yoni, welcome back. It up.